Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Builder Simulator. Um, is this the best Builder Simulator out there? I don't know. I guess we'll, <laughs> we'll find out together, right? Uh, oh my god, I just accidentally clicked on the, um, the, the Discord there. Whoops. So welcome everybody. So anybody that was wondering what is uh, Builder Simulator? Builder Simulator is a very... Um, it, it, I'll just read the description instead of just trying to describe it to you. So Builder Simulator is uh, the perfect game for those who want to build a house from the ground up, one brick at a time. On easy, the game will guide and teach you by showing you full instruction, but on hard, you will get no help. Instead, rely on your builder skills, which is kind of cool. So if you play this game on hard, you're going to get an experience where you get... Yeah, you, you better be a builder like you better know what you're doing right and I, I i guess like over time if you do the easy mode and and all that you'll learn as you go on how to build certain things so that's cool um i'm gonna go ahead and actually check into this real quick check how everything's going here in the settings i will say i never played this game i never got to play the um i never got to be able to play the uh the the demo version i guess you could say so this is actually the first time i'm ever playing this game here on the channel so let's see here we have planner tutorial interior designer sandbox and contracts interesting i guess one thing you should jump on is contracts right maybe tutorial i don't know this is kind of a strange <laughs> um I, I guess contracts maybe that will be good the foundation contract one the foundation very well gives you a giant description on what to expect the plot size is seven by seven uh, oh yeah, this game is going for $19.99 on Steam. Um, I don't know if it's on console. I did not check into that, but I know that it's on Steam. Uh, so if you want to, you can pick it up for $19.99, or you can get it for 10% off uh, right now for the next seven days, or you can get it for an even additional um, uh, discount if you bundle up the game with another game. Like for instance, I bundled this game. I got it for $16. So I bundled it, bundled it with like Bakery Simulator and things like that. Hello everybody. Hello Peter. Hello Devin. Hello Daniel. Hello Mech Kiki. Um, oh, two Daniel. Sorry, Daniel Coleman and Daniel Dunn. Stevie Lee. Hello Stevie Lee and hello Queen. And if I miss anybody, please let me know. So okay, I guess we'll do Contract One, which is going to be the foundation, and then Contract Two will be the doors and windows. Finish the house and where's the wall? Money problem, wrong position. Oh my god. How many contracts are there? Ten? All right. I guess they'll teach us on how to build a house. <laughs> Let's go ahead and begin. Very well. <laughs> Hello, Kyle. How's it going? Hello, Misfit. How are you? Hello, Darren. Hello, Sheree. How is everyone doing? So there's a few different game modes. There's obviously contract, there's sandbox. Um there's tutorial, which I don't know if I should have done the tutorial. I really don't know. Up, I'm really not sure. I got us a job. Oh. Storage facility. This guy reminds me, okay, so we talked about robots, right, recently? This guy is from robots, I tell you that. Let's actually go ahead and, like, increase his voice a little bit so we can hear what he's saying. There we go. Fantastic. Good job. Hello, call me Ag Algernon. That reminds me of Bully. Hello, Kershenton. Hello, uh, Karsten. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so let's see here. Uh, <laughs> kind of like a Mickey Mouse voice. Uh, 17 grand is how much we have. We just need to dig up the foundation. So dig the foundation, install the uh, formworks. Formworks or frameworks? I guess formworks. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Very well. And then uh, install reinforcements. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Water, cement, dirt. Where would one dig? Do we just like, we don't, we probably buy? Yeah. Okay. We buy. Probably. Maybe. Bearing walls, stuff like this. Where do we get our tools from? No. None of that stuff. Hey! Thank you for the tip really there. Wanted to play Transport Fever 2? <laughs> I have played Transport Fever 2. I own Transport Fever 2. It's actually a really good game. Um, I don't know if I would play it on the channel, though. That I, I've i played casually. I usually play casually, but I don't know if I play on the channel. But thank you for the tip there. Appreciate that. Is there a shovel sitting right here and, I'm not, and I don't see it? Am I blind to the shovel? Yo! 
wh where's the frick the shovel is? <laughs> Hello, Monique. How's it going? I think press the middle mouse button. Ah, there you go. Thank you. Very well. See, this is what happens when you don't play the tutorial. That is a lot of tools. Thank you for that. I guess we'll get the shovel, yeah? We'll start digging. No? Oh, I guess the trenches, yeah? There we go. There we go. Hooray! We figured it out. <laughs> oh, good. Have you played, have you tried Traveler's Rest? I have never tried Traveler's Rest. I've never played Traveler, Traveler's Rest, but I will say Traveler's Rest does look very interesting indeed. For sure, for sure. Absolutely. Hello, Monique. <laughs> I guess, uh, what? Like, opening the inventory is the middle mouse button, yeah? It's F. Press F. F does nothing. There we go. Okay. Whoa, look at There's like console controls too. All right. So where can I find Formworks reinforcements? You can buy them. Okay. We can buy them. Reinforcements, right? Foundations, maybe? Formworks reinforcements. Did it say I need 24? How many does it say I need? We'll buy one piece for now and see where we're at. Just to see where, how this goes. Okay. So it goes into our hotbar and then we place it right there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> does it tell us how much we need? No, it doesn't tell, tell us how much we need. Just have to really guesstimate, I guess. Um, I don't know if we would need 100. Maybe like 10, 50, 50 pieces might be good. Yeah, 50 pieces might be good. We'll see about that. Oh, good. You can actually spam this. That's very good. Good job. So, yeah, this is supposed to be... I think, honestly, this is going to be probably like one of the most, most realistic uh, builders out there. There we go. Very good. 50 wasn't enough. I guess maybe like towards 100. We'll do another 50. I love Once you figure out the controllers, controls here. Oh my God. <laughs> Once you figure out the controls, uh, it gets a little bit easier. Thank you so much there, Matthew. That was very kind. Thank you for the super chat. Very, very generous. Big, big, big money there. Big money. $20. That was very kind of you. Thank you so much. Very, very big. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now we go. That was very, very kind of you. Very, very much. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I don't even know how much that was. I think that was that was 10, 50. That was about 80 to 90. I think that was 90 pieces that we just did there. Okay, yeah, 90 pieces. So then we just go ahead and do this. <laughs> you can just press and hold it. You don't need to click or anything. I love how fast this is. Good job, game. It's a pretty good looking game, too. I did. I do have to say. Awesome. Okay, you can create concrete and mortar in the concrete mixer. Do it manually or with auto mode. Concrete is used for, obviously, we know what concrete is used for. Okay, so we would probably want to get our shovel, right? And get our shovel. We want water. Where are you in a sec? We got to go get water. Did we get water down, down by the water? <laughs> Do we get water down by the water? Um, bucket of water. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess there's already water in the bucket. All right. Well, that's a little weird. Okay, so let's see here. Do we just add it in or is there already in there? I'm assuming there's nothing in there. No, there isn't. We're good. Okay, now there is something in there. Okay, now let's go ahead and put the cement in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, peel it open. That's actually a good anim animation there. There we go. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll put in the sand. So that is, I don't know, this is, th this is more sand, right? I think this is more of a sand. That looks like gravel. Yeah. Yeah, that's sand. Okay, good. And we can use a wheelbarrow and everything like that, right? Obviously. Spicy coming in hot there. Very much. Big ups to the Matthew. Thank you so much. There we roll. We're already down to $3,000. We've already burned through like 17 grand that fast and doing the frameworks and formworks and all that. Holy crap. <laughs> You can try to play other games like like that or Transport Fever 2 and check out the if people wanted to see it or not. Uh, well, that game, I don't know. I just wouldn't. I don't know if I would really want to do a video on it myself is all. Okay, so let's go ahead and inter interact here. Some games I like to keep as a casual thing and not have to, like, do it as a video, if that makes any sense. So we'll go ahead and make this into concrete. Put it into the wheelbarrow, maybe? Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. Hey, James, how's it going? <laughs> okay, so this is completed. There we go. And then... I think what we do is we grab the wheelbarrow. We make sure it's, like, right here. There we go. And then I think... Oh, God, no, no, no. Put it down, put it down. Right there. And I think then we just turn it into there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, not too much. Oh, it's 100% already. Okay, I see the little bit of 100% there. Okay, now let's leave it. Grab it. I love it. Cool. And then let's, let's get this going here. There we go. And then how would one do this? Actually, you know what? We probably would actually just dump it in there, no? Right? I think, maybe? Start the concrete mixer, create concrete, pick up the wheelbarrow, pour the ready, drive the wheelbarrow up to the excavation, and pour into it. Yeah, so I guess right here, no? Pouring wrong mix type? Oh, wait, did I mix it wrong? Oh, no. Did I mix it wrong? Oh, crap, dude. I was just going based off of what it was showing. Yeah, it says pouring wrong mix type. Oh, damn it. What the heck, man? So this is all wrong? Is that what you're telling me? I was just going for water, cement, sand. Isn't that what makes concrete? You didn't make concrete? What the heck? Oh my god. Can I just pour this out then? Oh my lord. Alright, I guess make concrete. There's a button on the side that switches the mixer? Okay, very well. I'll do that. <laughs> You call and get a great and get a concrete truck. Pouring the foundation without a truck is unreasonable. I know, right? <laughs> Alright, there we go. So, okay. Let's try this again. Ah! Mortar, we made mortar and not concrete. So if we switch it to concrete, does that actually empty out? It does. Okay, very good. Okay, let's let's do it again. Try it again. See, I guess we're learning, aren't we? There we go. Very well. Now we go ahead and put the cement in. No, don't grab the shovel, you idiot. Let's put the cement in. Then we use sand and we use gravel. So the one thing that we're missing, I guess, is uh, actually gravel. Okay, a little bit of sand. Let's go sand first. And everything like this would tell you if you just done the tutorial, right? Obviously. But luckily, I got you guys here to help me out. I do appreciate that. It does make things go a bit faster because, you know, some people don't want to watch the tutorial first off and you know i'd rather show you guys some gameplay of this game there we go there we go grab some more gravel there we go there we go hello leslie okay now we mix the son of a gun okay start it up bam there we go <laughs> will you do a let's uh, let's look at for a ga game gunsmith sim i don't think so i don't think so have some milk. <laughs> I love sim games because you can try out jobs you never get in real life. Facts. It's one of the reasons I like playing simulations too. Okay, so this is done, yeah? So auto, wait, what does auto do? Click auto and it makes a concrete automatically. Oh, okay. I guess that's one way to save time. Hey, okay, back it up. That, does that really look like, is that what concrete looks like? I feel like concrete's a little bit darker than that. <laughs> okay, so let's try it again. Here we go. All right, back it in, put it in, and dump it. There we go. Look at that. Now, we got to go all the way around, please. There we go. I don't know if I have enough concrete for this. I'm going to pull it in through here. But if I don't, then I'm going to try out that auto feature and see how that goes. There we go. Good job. Like I said, this game looks really good. Like, the graphics look pretty damn good, I, I would have to say. First simulator, come on now. Here we go. Oh, God. There we go. Very good. Oh, my God, that little spot. This is, like, full concentration. I can't see. <laughs> I just can't see. 
Okay, now go here. There we go. Cool. There we go. Honestly, I don't even know what mortar is. I'll be I'll be real with you. I don't think we're gonna have enough concrete, no? Oh no, maybe we might. Yeah, we have enough, yeah? Nice work. Whoa! The cleaning company is very pleased with the results of your work. You scared me. The foundations are really neat and solid. Thank you. Right now, they're preparing our sweet fat paycheck. Oh, you can tip the wheelbarrow sideways too? Together, buddy. We're like a superhero team! Unstoppable and ready for the next work! Why is that mountain yeah. so big? Alright, congratulations! Yeah, we did that! That was contract one, I think. Yeah, rookie contract. And now we kind of like... Go oh, God. So, <laughs> we go to the next one. Doors and windows. Sure. This is kind of like a tutorial, in a way. Kind of. I guess this is for somewhere else. Countryside. So we don't get to work back on that? Okay, fine. Whatever. Hello, hello, hello! Hello! We've got another quest to complete, buddy! This time, our client is a human in need named John. He hired a well-known construction company, and they've finished nearly everything. However, their contract expired before all the work had been done, and they moved on to the next job, leaving the client's house incomplete. What a bummer, right? But here comes our part. This human John asked us if we could finish the construction by installing all the doors and windows. Of course, I said yes! Quickly! There's no time to waste, buddy! Do the build-mobile! <laughs> so, uh, I know what this might seem to some people. Some people might be like, oh, this is kind of like, um, very, at least right now. It's like, oh, is this, like, just so simple? Like, it's like nothing, nothing too, uh, too crazy. Now, this game does, I have to say, this game gets really, um, really in-depth. Uh, and it just takes a little bit of time, of course. We have to adjust, oh, wow, this is really good. See, this is what I'm talking about. The more realistic that we have here. So we want a leveler, yeah? Is that what it's asking? So let's see here. Uh, window. Adjust. Oh, I see. Whoops, I'm putting it wrong. My bad. There we go. Put it in right, you idiot. There we go. Perfect. Place. Window picker. Really? Look at all these options. This is really good. Um, I don't know. We can go with just like a standard white window maybe. Black window. We'll go black. We'll go black. There we go. Cool. And then what we have to do, obviously, is uh, screw them in. But what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put in everything that needs to go in. So let's adjust it. Level it out. Place it. I'm going to go with the black door as well. Bam. And then I'll come back and I'll screw these in. So this looks like a massive window, no? Uh, one window. Uh, one door. Two window. Two door. Three windows. Okay, three windows and possibly... Uh, two doors there we go let's see how that works so let's go here and pull oh, that's not the window this right here yeah yeah so this game gets really really in detail uh, later on so just know that oh look at that fantastic there we go there we go black one and I love that it saves which color you were on last that's a really good touch some games don't do that it's a little tiny thing, but the fact that it does save on the black, the one that I used previously, it's good because then it matches everything else in the in the house, right? There we go. Wonderful. Hey, if you guys uh, are enjoying this, make sure to hit that like button. I would appreciate that, too. It will also show it to a lot of people that don't know about this game. That's the most important thing, right? Okay, so now we go into the drill driver. Apparently, that's what this is called, right? Screw in. Oh, look at that. So even like the 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 first person looked down. I mean, I mean, you can see that we have a we have a body, which is you know not in most of these simulators. Uh, simulators. But look how we like use the drill with our hand. Like it's not like the same kind of animation work. It's like a different animation that we have here. I like it. Awesome. <laughs> what the heck is that for, dude? We'll come back to that, I guess. Go around and drill everything. There we go. Now, there is skills in this game, I guess. I think. I don't know. I keep seeing skills. Yeah, there is skills in this game. Um, I don't know when or how or if we will get something. I guess the game will tell us. It looks like we have fill the wheelbarrow a hundred times and that gives us something. Oh my god, that seems like so much. <laughs> that does. That seems like a lot. There we are. Build mobile. 
<laughs> Do I see Claptrap? That voice could get on my nerves. <laughs> Gonna have a long week next week for me. I've offered to help with a pool job for the guy that does the pool at the Y. Nice. I have to drive 52 minutes though. <laughs> okay, so now we have to do what is what is this? What is this? I don't actually know what this does. This isn't a sledgehammer type thing. Um, not a trowel. Plaster gun? This is not a plaster gun. No. What the heck is this for? Are these little clips? Screw the screws. Wedges. They're wedges. Do we have to buy wedges or can we just place wedges? I think we have to buy wedges? Question mark. Let's see here. Oh my god, this is crazy. Bearing walls, lintel. Can I actually search stuff in this game? You can't search things, no? Yeah, this game is actually uh, full release. It is full release. Yep. Concrete, no. Bearing walls, no. Foundation, possibly not. Is this like, is this a tool thing that I'm missing out on here? Or do I just place it? Oh, I just placed it in myself with my hand. Okay. All right. Very well, there's the wedges. All right. <laughs> Holy crap. Adjust the wood? Yeah. Very, very, like, uh, micromanaging in this game for this, for all, like, building construction-based things. But it's okay, because it's actually kind of cool. There we go. Like, like the game suggests, if you are the type of person who does not need a tutorial, that does not need an easy mode, you can play the game on hard mode, and that is just like building in real life and all that. As close to real life as you can. There we go. Very good. Cool. Go ahead and adjust that too. It just takes a matter of time to get used to everything is all. It does work a little bit different than most other simulators. But so far I'm liking it for sure. Like I said guys, you can bundle this game up and get it for a discount. For around, you can get it for around 16 USD right now. Um, $16 USD. Sorry, 16 USD. <laughs> um, yeah, you could definitely do that right now. I, I, I bundled this with the uh, Baker Sim Shop. Or Baking Simulator, sorry. Baking Simulator. Uh, there was another bundle. I didn't see what it was. But there was another bundle that you could do as well. There we go. Adjust that. It's a nice touch where you have to like adjust everything. You put wedges here too. Ah, yes. Wedges on the outside of the door. Cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that. Very good. There's like front doors on every freaking, uh, uh, every side of this house, every angle here. There we go. Gonna be $350 for one day of work. I would say that is definitely worth it. Uh, for sure, for sure. Absolutely. Kind of similar to what I did, uh, not job-wise, but monetarily-wise. Kind of similar to what I did, uh, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago. There we go. There we go. All right, very good. There we are, there we are. <laughs> there we go, all right. Get me inside, shut the door. Okay, now that the wedges are in, every, oh wait, this one isn't done. There we go. Once again, we saved the day, buddy. Oh yeah. Is happy with the final results, so he'll pay us the full price. No, I didn't offer him a discount to make him hire us. <laughs> that would be unfair to our business. Anyway, we finished our second job, partner. We can be. So that's contract done, right? Yeah, yeah contract two done. So this is kind of like this is like kind of doing a tutorial esque ish type thing without having to do the tutorial in a way. Finish the house at Mountain Plot. Go back there. Send it, dude. Absolutely send it. Hang on a second. I'm like pouring myself a drink here. Hey. Get up! There's no rest for the working! I got us a job! Our client is an aspiring builder, so he's like a co-worker in need, right? He sure. and his cousin were constructing a house. Everything went according to plan until the family's member got sick. Now, our client can't finish his house. Do you understand? We'll help him! It's a great opportunity to gain some recognition! And fame, of course! We just need to erect partition walls, insert windows, doors, and roof! I know you can do it! Okay. So, so far, doors and windows. First things first. Basically the same thing we just did. So, one door, um, two doors, three doors, one, two, 
three, four. Did I count that right? One, two, three, four windows and three doors. Four windows and three doors. Okay, so let's get the doors in. Uh, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. Very good. Let's install this stuff. Now that we kind of have an idea of how this works, we can go through pretty fast now. Or at least we could try to go fast. So there we go. Um, I'm going to go with just a standard brown door this time. I'm going to go run over here and add this too. Place everything in and then we'll go ahead and screw everything. And we'll do all that. Try to go as fast as I can here. Now that we know. The more that you know. The more that you know. There we go. We'll do the windows now. Uh, brown. We'll keep it brown again. There we go. There we go. Come over here. Do this, and then we'll throw in the screws, throw in the wedges, all that, and then I guess the next thing after this is going to be, like, what we have to do to finish up the house. Okay, let's go screws. There we go. Very good. And then wedges. There we are. And then that's good. Yep, that's absolutely good to go. Cool. <laughs> I got it for 1360 pounds, right? Pounds? The other bundle is Builder Simulator and Tank uh, Mechanic. Okay, so anybody that owns Tank Mechanic, you can pick it up for an additional, uh, additional discount. Cool. That's a good shout. Thank you for that. There we go. Now, there is a sandbox mode to this game. Which, if I'm assuming, it's probably like build your own type of house, maybe? And that sounds pretty cool. I do have to say, that sounds really cool. There we go. But learning how to get, like, learning how to play the game first, I think is pretty important. Or just jump into a sandbox. I didn't get, uh, you know, I didn't get early access to the game. So this is, this is literally my first time playing it. So this is pretty cool. I'm on the outside. I hate to be on the outside here. Actually, you know, it's a door. It's no big deal. Just wedge it out here. There we go. There we go. Cool. Come on in. Shut the door. Come over here. There we go. Getting this done way faster than last time. Oh, there's a bundle with Mr. Prepper, too? Oh, was this game by the same people? By Mr. Prepper people? I saw that Mr. Prepper is actually uh, coming out with DLC soon, too. There we go. Awesome. Dun, 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 dun. Throw in some more. There we go. Almost done. Oh, <laughs> god damn. All right. Okay. Let's go from the outside. Go work to the inside. Then we know we got a wedge from the outside, and then we got to adjust that, and that's good to go. And then we can move on to the next step that we haven't done yet. Now, this doesn't, I mean, this kind of reminds me of one of those, like, houses that, uh, you know those shipping container houses that are kind of trending right now? It kind of reminds me of it, just the texture a little bit. There we go. All right, so we're good, yeah? We did it all? Oh, wait, nope, I did not do it all. There's one more out here. Hang on a sec. Fix this up. Fix the window. This is actually a pretty, uh, like a window down to the floor. It's kind of crazy. All right. So part, uh, partition walls are built in the following order. Profiles to the ceiling and the floor. Oh, my God. It goes so fast. Okay. Buy and insert wall profiles. Okay. Let's see how many we need here. So two. Two. If I'm, you know, if I'm seeing this right. Okay. Two profiles, maybe. Let's see how that works. We got more money for it, so that's good. There we go. I guess just for this one? Is this for something else? In the right, on the floor, in the ceiling. Okay, so we're just doing the white, or not the white. We're doing just the right right now. Okay, I get it. Throw that in. Throw that in. Okay. Screw the screws. Buy and insert plaster boards now. Okay, plaster boards. Maybe one plaster board. On this side? Oh, up there. Oh, I see. I see. I didn't see it up there from before. My bad. There we go. 
Nice. And then this would be plasterboard, no? What would this be? It says plasterboard, isn't it? Maybe it needs more frames, yeah. It does need more frames. Ah! This goes to show you, man. Have you ever been a builder in your life? No. <laughs> We're gonna need a couple more. But this is this is the ability of simulators, man. I get to play a job that I've never done in my entire life. There we go. Uh, two more plasters, please. Never built a house. Oh, you're telling me you never built a house before? No, never built a house. So this is gonna take a nail. Can we use a sledgehammer? Question? No, no, you don't want to use that, dude. You don't want to use that. No, no, that's a screw. That's still a screw. Okay. <laughs> if anything, use a sledgehammer to demolish a wall. There we go. Okay, now we buy and insert mineral wool. Mineral wool? What the heck is that? Maybe three pieces? I've never heard of mineral wool. We put that on the other side? Maybe we put that on the other side, yeah? Hey, Kyle, how's it going? I'm gonna watch the stream later, but I have a bunch of stuff to do today. No problem, Kyle. No problem. It's gonna go here. Yeah, inside. Very well. Bam, bam, and bam. Ah, that's what mineral wool is. That makes sense. And then you probably fill it up and close it off with some more, um, yeah. There you go. Great job. Just insulation, baby, right? Insulation indeed. Cool. Nice. I love it. Also, with the tank bundle, there is a uh, DLC for the tank game. So three for two. Oh, sick. Good shout. Good shout indeed. Okay, so. Um, okay, so insert plaster boards on the other side. Okay, if the partition walls are concrete, buy blocks and lay them like loading bearing walls. Wait, what? So, would we use concrete? Is that what it's suggesting? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Wait a freaking sec. What are you actually talking about? This, is this going to be for, like, over here, though? This isn't for here, no? We have to put concrete in there, yeah? Is that what it's asking me? Oh, my lord. If the partition walls, or partition walls, are concrete, buy blocks and lay them like uh, load-bearing walls. Like, this wall is done, no? I think this wall is done. The fact that I have to go all the way around just to get into that other room is kind of nuts. Hey, Devin. The bundle had a quars too? Very good. Um, okay. Mineral insulate. No, I guess we didn't do insulation now, did we? Concrete? Floor insulation? Insulation board, bearing walls, concrete, ah, maybe this. Maybe this? Is this what we need? Wall bearings? Low bearing walls? Concrete? Oh god, now I'm buying a bunch of stuff that I don't even know! If they are concrete. What do you mean, if they are concrete? <laughs> I don't get it. If they are concrete? Like, I'm assuming we're done with this, right? We're done with this. Maybe. And then we move over to this. Hmm. Ceiling concrete block. That's a ceiling. I, you idiot. You bought it for the ceiling. Insulation board. Hollow brick. Lintel. Floor insulation. This is what I'm talking about. The, the, this is the walls, right? The concrete block that we want. Hmm. Game looks fun, yeah, it's actually, well, it's, it's so far so good, yeah. This game looks difficult. <laughs> uh, so if the partition walls are concrete, why is it an if? Shouldn't you give me a definite answer here? That wall you just uh, installed wasn't concrete. Okay, so if part partition walls aren't, are concrete, buy blocks and lay them like low bearing walls. So we wouldn't have to do anything with that then, no? We buy blocks, right? Which is what this is, yeah? 
Oh, does it need... I can't, that, that tick text goes by so fast. Invalid construction. Use damp proof insulation instead. Okay, so let's see. Damp proof insulation instead. Floors, right? Floors? Um, I saw the, like, yeah, this. You think I have to do this? No. Proof insulation instead. <laughs> I don't know, dude. You need to make concrete, you think? Okay, let's make some concrete. Let's try that out, at least. Where's the concrete stuff? There it is. Okay, so we're actually going to try the, um, we're going to try the auto once we get that s switched over. Okay, let's put some water in. Uh, let's go, bucket of water, please. There we go. And then we'll go, uh, cement. Oh my god. Put in the cement. Hollow bricks? The wall you just... So, hollow bricks, is that what it is? Not sure. Oh. And then sand. I've only got in here and I'm confused as much. <laughs> Hello, Damien. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm definitely going for the tutorial first. Hey, if anything, I'll be your uh, guinea pig, so to speak. Uh, on whether or not you should do the tutorial, but like I said, this game will get super super intense Or it can not will but it can get super intense mixer is filled So you can't auto wait what the heck? Okay, so mixer is filled Don't know what that means. I guess we can't do much with that. I guess this is We're, we're trying this out. We're doing this live dude. I don't know what to tell you Doing it live Oh god, you idiot, you gotta mix it, you stupid son of a gun. My bad, my bad. No, don't buddy, don't say anything. Chat, shush, shush. <laughs> Alright, we'll let this go. <laughs> I think the wall you just installed is not for exterior or load-bearing structures. It's just to portion up the space and make a room. Hey, Simply Nothing. How are you doing? Good to see you again. The stream will be called How Not to Build a House. Very true. Maybe Mortar instead? Oh, crap. Okay, let's stop that it doesn't I I think one thing that I that I hate that the game is actually telling me is if like there should be no if in this like task here why would there be an if so does this mean I can just like drive this right on in uh oh you can't even drive it in okay so hang on a sec one would say trowel right you need mortar. Concrete cannot be scooped with a trowel. Son of a bitch. Because you would trowel this, yeah? You would trowel this. That's what I'm thinking in real life. Plastering trowel. What about this? Do you plaster it? That makes more sense, no? Oh my god, dude. Um... This makes more sense, but I don't know if this is correct. Like, I don't want to screw anything up. Skimming blade? Floor template? Oh my god. <laughs> A plaster gun? <laughs> I'm laughing just because I'm like, what the actual hell? So concrete doesn't work? I guess go to mortar. Mortar? Is that what we need? We need to do mortar? Okay. I guess. More like cowboy builders. I guess we just poured this out. This is a waste of concrete now, isn't it? How to do concrete? Forget to mix. <laughs> hey, Lean, how's it going? All right, so I guess we'll do mortar. Give us some time here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, switch it to mortar. And now we'll do this. 
We'll try this out. See if this is the way to go. Put some water in there. There we go. And then we will go, sorry, we will go uh, cement. Put a little bit of cement as well. Okay, now we'll go all sand. Will this be the ticket? Will the mortar be able to be troweled onto the wall? Because you don't leave, you don't leave drywall like that, dude. You just don't. Okay, now we mix it. We'll see what happens. That's a good shout. Think you need to put the black, uh, black insulation down first and then the bricks? Let's try that. That's a good shout. Go insulation. Ah, look at that. Hey, 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 hey. Look at that. Now, why didn't the game tell me to do this? Yeah, why didn't the game say anything about this? The only reason why I don't think the game said any, anything about this is because that the, um, we're not on this part yet. I don't even know, dude. That mixer's going ham out there, though. And then we go bricks, right? And then we go concrete bricks. No? Oh, we go other bricks. Okay, let's turn that off. Stop it. Uh-oh. Wait, was it already coming out? Okay, this is 50%. We'll, we'll try this up. We'll try this up here. Trial? <laughs> no. All right. Whatever, dude. Let's 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 continue on this. So, this wouldn't be this. It wouldn't be this, and it wouldn't be this. What kind of bricks do you think this would be? Because I have the I have the concrete blocks, but that apparently isn't what you need to do. Floor insulation, maybe? You think? Yeah, floor insulation. I'm gonna try buying everything. That is, oh, we already have floor insulation. Wait a sec, what is the actual, what does it tell me if I try to do this? Does it tell me? It doesn't tell me a damn thing. Okay, very good. Mm, 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 mm. Right. Foundations, bearing walls, Hollow bricks, yeah? Hollow bricks? Or lintel? Maybe hollow bricks. Let's try it. Worth a try. Okay, definitely, definitely not the bricks. Okay. Let's do the lintel. Is it the lintel? It is not the lintel. What the actual hell is it? There you need mortar? Okay, good shout. Can I shovel this, actually? Because I can't drive this into there. That's the only downside, is I can't drive it into there. Trowel it, maybe? Get the mortar and then trowel it? Ah, yeah, 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 good job. There you go. There we go. Fantastic, good job. Good job, chat. Look at that. Now we go concrete blocks. Yeah! You son of a gun. Perfect. Great job. See, we all just need to work together. It's all what it is. It's all what it comes down to. Fantastic. Okay, now we probably need more mortar. That's probably what that's showing there. There we go. Wonderful. Wait, mini game? Did you see that? It said mini game. Hooray! Oh, this is going to be a lot. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be a lot, a lot. This says mini game. When I did the mortar. Okay, we're going to need a lot of blocks here. It's going to go straight up. Now, what is the difference between this wall and that wall? Obviously, there's a big difference. But, I mean, like, why would you do it? That's what I'm trying to, I guess, ask. Is why would you do it this way compared to how we did it over there? Okay, let's go and slap this down. Great. And then let's go ahead and trowel it. There's a mini game. Oh, the whole thing. Hey! Darren, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate that. That was very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hat backwards. Got it going on. Thank you very much. That was very good. Very good indeed. So this mini game can do the whole thing. Thank you, Darren. 
Hey, Sphinx. Want to catch up? Uh, catch you playing uh, Weed Shop 3, but I'm just now starting to binge watch the episodes. I'm on episode th uh, 3. Sphinx, how's it going? Sorry if I missed it, uh, your chat earlier. But I was really uh, disturbed by this whole freaking thing. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now, hey, you know what? You watch the Weed Shop 3 all the way up to Weed Shop 11. You'll find yourself having a spicy time, I'll tell you that. Yeah, definitely for sure. Mini game. Good job. But good to see you. Okay, so now we need a little bit more. There we go. Five. Cool. There we go. What happens if I can't reach, dude? What happens if I can't reach? Mini game. Send it. There we go. Okay. And then finish it off. You know what would actually be really cool? If they made a game like this and they made it co-op, right? They had like multiplayer. I think that would be really smart. I think that would be really fun. No? Like, could you imagine you and a buddy just trying to build a house and like being like, hey man, let's troubleshoot some ideas here. Uh oh. I can't reach it. Do I need a ladder? Working platform? Yes. How cute is this? F yeah. <laughs> nice. There we go. Perfect. And a little bit more bricks. Send it. Sorry. There we go. Be like, oh yeah, we're going to troubleshoot a lot of ideas here today. We're going to try to figure out how to make mortar and, and freaking concrete. You need a blueprint to set the roof angle. Only then you can start to insert roof beams and tiles. I don't even know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> I'll be real with you, dude. Okay. All right. Okay. We got that done. I will say, though, um, the list didn't tell us anything about any of that. So, you know, it is what it is. But now we can get into the blueprint. So I think we have to buy the blueprint, yeah? Roof, blueprint. Hip, roof, blueprint. Okay, let's see what happens when that happens. Place. Confirm. What did I just do? Oh! Oh! Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. So we have scaffolding, so let's get our asses up there. There we go. Look at that. Very good. Okay, no more scaffolding. Let's get up there. Climb. Sick, dude. Oh, I love the little climb animation. That's pretty fun. All right. Now, everything that we need. Buy the blueprint. Select it from the inventory. Okay. Set the angle of in in inclination. I didn't even set the angle. I just slapped it down. Buy roof beams. So let's go ahead and buy the roof beams. So we go roof. We go beams. Probably a ton of these, right? Yeah, a lot of these. Maybe 50. Let's do 40. Let's do 40. Let's not get over overzealous here. There we go. There we go. Look at us. I feel like I need to, like, be up on there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be up on here. There we go. Fantastic. Hey, Purple Panther. How you doing? I'm back. I was really busy. I drink milk tea. Oh, how dare you? <laughs> That's normal, though. Anybody drinking tea, though, with, you know, I need a little bit of milk with it. That's normal, yeah? Don't ask about the milk conversation from yesterday. <laughs> oh, you don't need to keep going back to the, to the wheel. Can I crouch? You don't need to keep going back to the wheel. Oh, my effing God. There we go. We'll just do it from the outside and work our way to the inside. How about that? There we go. Uh, hello, Vipoved. Vipoved, hopefully I said your name correctly. How are you? I think we're going to need a little bit more beams. Yeah, we're going to need a couple more beams. Do 10. One right there. I'm going to go this way. Can't believe I'm just recently seeing your account. Your commentary keeps me from getting bored. Really great, though. That's <laughs> That was very... uh. Really very kind of you to say. Jesus Christ. How you doing? <laughs> thank you. Appreciate that. My God, I wasn't ready to read something like that. So thank you for that. Caught me off guard there. Appreciate that, though. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Here 
we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. This was way more than 40 pieces, I will say. We could do this all on the ground. We didn't even really need the scaffolding now, did we? Whoops. Here we are, and finish it up. Is that it? Damn it, the top. Okay, we gotta get a couple more boards for the top. We'll slam it with the tent and try to work our way back up there and not fall over. So is he just like building a house? I'm doing a contract, really. And I'm finishing up, oh shoot. I'm finishing up somebody's house right now. So basically what we're doing right now is we're doing a ton of contracts. And we're learning as we're going, basically. Learning how to play the game. Oh my god. Did I do it? Oh, now we have to buy the tiles? And insert them in the highlighted area? Oh, okay. Roof tiles. How many roof tiles is this going to be? I don't know. I guess... A hundred? Let's do 137 pieces. Ah, there you go. Look at that. How satisfying is that, baby? <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. Oh, yeah. Cool. I wish it was this easy in real life, yeah? If it was this easy in real life, I think civilization would be um, upside down. I think we would have ran out of places to build. <laughs> I hate tea with a passion. That hurts my heart. What about cold tea? Do you like cold tea? Like a raspberry iced tea or something like that? What about like a strawberry tea? Cold strawberry tea? I boil milk instead of using water and let the tea infuse with it. Really good. There we go. We did it? Or did we miss like one tiny little spot? I feel like we missed one tiny little spot. No? We did it, yeah. I think so. That son of a gun. Tiny little spot right there. Maybe I need to go down there? Tiny little spot over here? There we go. Anything through here, nothing through there. Anything on the corners here? Nope. Nope. Anything up here? Oh my god. This is, this is a little, uh, <laughs> like these tiny, tiny little, little specks. Yeah, let's go down, I guess. See if there's anything from the bottom that we need to do. It kind of sucks that it's also orange. <laughs> Kind of blends in with the color. Um, right. Okay. I, I, I don't, I don't, I, I guess maybe I'm still missing a piece up there. Let's go up there. Try again. I have to go back to watch those. Uh, I've been able to watch YouTube the past couple of weeks. I haven't been able to watch YouTube the past couple weeks because my granny passed away, so lots of stuff been going on. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I am so sorry to hear that, Purple Panther. That is so terrible to hear. Hope everything's okay with you, though. My God. I do remember I, a couple years ago, I did I did lose my grandmother. One of my great-grandmothers, though. She was wonderful. She was absolutely wonderful. Luckily, she passed away just before uh, COVID, so she didn't have to go through COVID and all that because, you know... She was already having health issues before then. But I'm sorry to hear that. Dude, this is insane. This is actually insane. Where is this little, like... Where do I finish the roof? <laughs> oh. Is that it? That's it? Hey! What the frick, dude? That can't... Oh my god. That wasn't it. That tiny little thing. That scares the hell out of me. Now I gotta try to find these tiny little pieces of... Oh my god. No way, dude. No freaking way. No actual way. What the heck? 
Why can't I find this little son of a gun? I don't know. <laughs> it, <laughs> oh, please don't do this to me, game. Is it right there? That tiny little thing? Is that is that it? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, this is silly, dude. This is actually silly. This is so silly. Hi, Kiki! Hopefully I said that name right. Let me just make sure I said that name right. Looks like there was a bot. My bad, guys. I have no control over that. Hello, Kiki Moon! I love cold tea, but the hot tea is my worst enemy. It's okay. I know she's in a better place because she was really struggling really bad, so I'm happy. Oh, okay. Very good. Very good. Oh, my effing God. Do I have to go inside? No. Why would I go inside, you idiot? This is, this is actually painful now. Unless it's a bug? Unless I bugged out the game somehow? This is day one, guys. So there probably will be hot fixes tomorrow on this game, but... I don't know what else am I supposed to tile here. Buy tiles, insert them in the highlighted area. But, like, the highlighted areas, there's, like, no more. That's the reason why we keep live streams on subscriber-only mode. Some people have asked that in the past, like... Why do you have it on subscriber only mode? Just for that reason, because bots will definitely come in and bot your stuff. It's not that I'm trying to like exclude people. Oh, you, you're not a subscriber to the channel. You're not allowed to talk with us. No, that's not what it is. It's more of like, hey, there's a there's a thing called bots in the world, and uh, they uh, they kick ass and take names sometimes. I don't know. I I don't know what to do about this. I really don't. This is kind of silly. Okay, well, uh, I guess we can save it? I'm not going to walk around this entire thing all over again. Yeah, I'm not going to, like, this is ridiculous. Jump down and look up. They might be under the roof tile. All right, let's do that. We'll go one more time around here. Right there. Is that it? No, that's a sun reflection, I think. Sun reflection. Eli. Eli Lee? Is that who just popped in the chat? Hello, Eli Lee. You made it. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know what to... I... I Unless it's like a freaking bug, I don't know. Unless there's a bug here that I'm that I've encountered already, you know. Because first of all, it's not a smart thing to do to have your color temple template here the same color as your highlights. So if someone was colorblind, this would be actually bad. Um, orange on top of some orange template here, it's so hard. And by the way, the UI cursor is actually orange as well. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, the, the description on what to do in the game is also orange. So everything is like orange. If it was green highlighted, that would probably make it a little bit easier and stand out more. The fact that it's not, uh, it really is a kick to the gonads here. And I don't know if I need to like... See, this is what I'm talking about. Do you see it? Do you see that? Do you see... How... You... Really? Nice job, buddy. Jesus Christ. Why? Damn it! Come on now, get it together. Our king looks pleased, which means we can leave him. There are still plenty of people waiting for our help. You are pissing me off, builder. Change your color, highlight. <laughs> God, what the hell was that, man? Oh lord, where's the wall? That's basically what I'm trying to say, I guess. I don't know. Let's go to the next one. Icelandic Islands. I guess I understand that I mod for another channel and deal with the trolls and bots on the daily. Yes, you're right. We have a new job to do. Don't worry. It won't be too hard for you. Our new client wants his house favorite color must be orange. Beautiful as it can be. Last time when he was trying to push the construction work, he ran out of money. We need to help him build the floor with bearing walls and ceiling blocks. Okay, right. 
Uh, say, hey, this time it's actually telling me to create the mortar. So maybe I can make this more diff- more- not more difficult. <laughs> maybe I can make this more less difficult than the last couple of contracts. Okay, so we'll go, uh, whoops, we'll go concrete. We're gonna make the brick and mortar, baby. Is that why they call it, like, is that why the phrase is brick and mortar? Ah, you know, it's a brick and mortar shop. What is that all about? There we go, we'll put the sand in now. There we go. Like, <clears throat> so far this game, yeah, somebody said, oh, this game looks really good. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm not saying this game doesn't look good. This game is definitely, I think, pretty top tier as far as building simulators go. Uh, there just needs to be a little bit more of adjusting, I think, <laughs> on the dev side. But other than that, I think it's it's pretty much good to go. Come on now, buddy. It did come out today, guys, so if you guys are interested, this game is out right now. So you can go ahead and pick it up for yourself. There we go. <clears throat> on Steam, I don't know if it's on console. I have no idea. Yep, no idea. Orange text on orange background. Basically, that's... Like, why? Why would you do something like that? Claptrap is back. I need to put that robot in timeout. <laughs> Gotta love an old claptrap, though. Claptrap's a G. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, apply the mortar to insert the blocks. We definitely will do that. So, we want to do that on top, yeah? Is that what we want to do? So, we're probably going to want to get a scaffolding in again. Uh, excuse me. Rotate this. Thank you. 90 degrees. Place it right there. Okay, whoa, 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 no more. Um, are we trialing it? I think we're trialing it, yeah? We're trialing it. We climb up. And then we send it, yeah? No. no. Apply it on the trowel. Apply mortar to insert the block. So the game is specifically telling me to put it on the trowel, which is, you know, step one. And then... Apply the mortar to insert the block. Okay. I'm assuming you would insert it right here, right? Put the mortar there. Or is it wanting me to buy the hollow blocks first? I'm so confused. Um, <clears throat> right. Let's go foundation. Maybe No, where, where was it? Bearing walls? Hollow blocks? We'll buy a few of these and see what the game wants me to do with this. That's the hollow blocks? No? I'm not losing my mind, right? Like, okay, create the mortar. Apply it on the trowel. Apply the mortar to insert the blocks. Like, I made mortar, right? Mortar. Apply mortar to insert the blocks. So, where would one apply the mortar? My guess would be the big highlighted area that is our next step of building a structure, no? So I'm going to go up there, and I'm going to try to apply the mortar. The mortar doesn't apply here? I, 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 what the hell is actually happening? Oh my god. It <laughs> Anybody else, like, feeling, like, bamboozled here? Like, it's not just me, right? I'm not just being an, a forehead, am I? I mean, I might, but... This is how you would do it, no? Do I do it from the bottom? What the hell? <laughs> These contracts are not getting better and better. Maybe the windows? Colorblind people are going to die playing this game? I think just logical people. Okay, so let's do let's 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 just skip over this. So if we were to skip over to apply the mortar, our next step would be buy hollow blocks in the store and build a low bearing wall. Buy and insert lintels and buy and insert ceiling. So let's go here. Let's go ten. And let's buy lintels. Let's buy these pieces and just see where the game wants us. So you have to buy the ceiling. If this is how it is, they really did this backwards. They shouldn't, they shouldn't like, they shouldn't tell you to do things like that. They put the lists in the wrong freaking <laughs> order. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. They put the, they put the, the lists in the wrong order, man. That's going to confuse people even more. Like, luckily, I have chat here, but, like, you have to think, like, if someone were to buy this game um, on their own 
and they were playing by themselves, uh, they could easily get lost and be like, I'm trying to do this, but the game won't let me do it. I have a feeling there's going to be some, there, there is, there's going to be some hot fixes that are coming out tomorrow. That's my 100% guess. They're going to fix something. Some of these like contracts here. Okay. So there, that's done. Now we can go ahead and add the mortar. Actually, we need to do that little piece right there. Okay. Now let's add the mortar. Oh my God. Play the mini game. Absolutely. Send it. Okay. Play the mini game. Send it. Okay. Play the mini. Oh God. I did not mean to do that. Oh, I guess I did. There we go. So wait, what happens if you don't hit it in the circle? I'm going to try this out. What happens if I don't hit it in the circle? Okay, it just does one. Okay, I get it. There we go. Oh, did I run out of mortar? Do I have to get more? Oh, I am out of mortar. Okay. So now I just need to mix more mortar. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. Going in. Coming up. Back it up. Back that thing up. There we go. And then let's go with water. No, wait. This is already has enough. Yeah, we're fine to go. We're good to go. We don't need to do anything else. Just pour it in. There we go. One more. There we go. Okay, pull it back up. Hey, Swedish cat. How are you? Mortar goes between the spaces of the brick after they're laid, right? I hope so. <laughs> Okay, I don't, I don't know why I even moved the wheelbarrow. I don't need to move the wheelbarrow. Hey! Thank you for streaming. Also, I love your weed shop three streams. Hey! Oh, you idiot. God damn it. I just didn't pick it up. Hey, that was very kind of you there, Eli. Very kind. I love your gamer pick too, by the way. That's a very good one. I love Master Chief with some ears, dude. Sick. Um... Thank you very very much appreciated thank you for that thank you for the tip thank you thank you uh yeah uh we chopped three streams they're gonna be fun they are fun they're a lot of fun they really are we have a lot of good conversation a lot of good time with those uh we chop threes don't we yeah but thank you that was very kind of you there we go okay now this is done now what i do is i go into the bricks now the thing about the bricks though is i don't have a lot oh my god these are gonna have mortars too all right all right all right so let's go ahead and get a bunch, dude. Um, this feels like a giant job. I feel like I need to buy a hundred, but I'll take my time here as I almost buy a hundred. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be a huge job now. There we go. Suggestion for the devs, slow text scrolling. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Good to see you again, Swedish cat. There we go. Hey, y'all. Okay. Back to the mortar. Whoa, what was that noise? This does look beautiful, though. Look where we're at. Like, who's building a house out here? Very good. Very good indeed. You're the king of your own domain. Isn't there, like, a country, like, right now, like, you can go online and, like, buy some land? And be like the king of your own county type thing. Isn't there like, I don't know. I, I think I saw that years ago. I don't know if it's true anymore, but. King of your own county. What the hell am I talking about? Is that it, dude? The wheelbarrow's empty? Oh my god, that was fast. Okay, I, I guess I should make more. This is going to be a huge job. Cement, please. Shovel, please. A whole KFC meal. <laughs> I have Weed Shop 3 on Steam. Sick. Start it up. Okay, there we go. Drop it in. Hey, whoa, 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 not too much, not too much. Grab the trial. I, I guess I don't really need to ever move the uh, 
the wheelbarrow either. You can do that in Scotland, and the only reason I know this is because I'm half Scottish. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Right? You can be, you can like buy like a tiny, tiny piece of land, yeah. And you can get a certificate and everything, yeah. I thought that was kind of cool. It's kind of like those things where you like buy a star. You know what I mean? You know how you buy a star? Anybody hear that? Almost faster to do that instead of the mini game. Is it buying a star or is it buying a? Uh, it's like naming a star. Sorry, it might be naming a star. Maybe not buying a star. I'm gonna buy a hundred, maybe two hundred to be exact. So this is gonna. I'm gonna kind of go back to what I said earlier. This would be an incredible game if you could play this online. Right? Multiplayer. Could you imagine you and the boys out here building houses out in the freaking Iceland? Iceland here? Like, hey, I'll be making the 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 mortar. You know, you'll be, uh, you be placing the blocks type thing. You know? Now, we have Power Wash Simulator as a, like, go-to, right? As a game that can... You can play co-op. Oh, my God. We're already out. We don't use a lot, huh, do we? Or we don't, like, we don't conserve a lot, do we? Now, Power Wash Simulator, co-op, yeah? Games like this need to be co-op. And most of you guys that are going to be, that are Trader Life Simulator uh, fans, I, I will say, they're bringing co-op, you know, to multiplayer to, to that game. And I'm interested, but I'm also terrifying. Just don't screw it up, man. Trader Life Simulator 2, sorry. Let me be more specific on that, yeah. I got Spellcaster University from watching you, and it's so much fun. Oh, I'm so happy you're enjoying that. Yeah, it was very generous to get that game gifted to me by Yorkie and the Chihuahua, so I was very, uh, I was very, uh, pleased on that. He did gift it to me, and I think he's doing his own Let's Play series as well, which is very kind of him. He wanted to compete against me, which I loved. You don't really have to add the ingredients in the mixer. Oh, you don't? How do you how do you mix how, how 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 does it refill then no i want a plague that says lord darren or a plaque that says lord darren owns one square meter of swampland <laughs> do people still buy stars uh i we do well i do well not well how do i say this um we did I think Danielle and I did uh, for our, when we got married. We did. So then do I just send it? Or do I, I have to fill it, yeah? And then fill it? Have you played Gas Station Simulator? Uh, yeah, we have a full uh, uh, live stream series of it on the channel. Yeah, just check out the playlist for sure. We had a lot of good fun in that one too. <laughs> a lot of good fun. The way you pronounce it is Aulik. If me, if you if you buy if buying, Elon Musk would own our own galaxy. Is Power Wash Sim online co-op? I believe it is now. Yeah, I think there was an update where you can play online with friends now. I'm pretty sure. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Payush, 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 Payush Gameplays, how's it going? So I know Recipe for Disaster is coming full release in August. Oh my god, that's going to be a busy month, dude. That's going to be a very busy month. Why is it going to be a busy, busy month? That's going to be coming out full release now, I guess I've been told. And, um, what is it? Uh, Two Point Campus is going to be coming out in August. And who knows, maybe even King of Retail full release will come out in August, too. I don't even know, dude. That's a, that's scary. Oh, thank God. Man, August is going to be spicy. Toad Art. How's it going, Toad Art? Finally caught you live streaming. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. So basically Shrek. 
This is my swamp lens. There we go. The wheelbarrow. Why, dude? This thing is like emptying so fast. I I kind of dislike how fast this thing's emptying. 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 Go on the side. It should say interact. It says interact. Hey, we got a level up there. Oh, look at I think the inner I think the level up for the for the bricks means we put two at once now, maybe? Possibly. Damn it. So okay, side. Auto. See, okay, we did this. We did this, um, we did this at the last contract, but the auto one didn't work. Hey, now, now it does, right? So can we just, like, dump it all the time in there? And then just leave it like that? Possibly? We'll see. Let's see how that works. His gas station sim is a banger. Oh, my God. It almost didn't make that. Son of a bitch. Can I bring the wheelbarrow up here? <laughs> hey, Tech Gaming Lane, how you doing? Big Ambitions. Ah, yeah, good shout. Good shout, Norman. I totally forgot. Big Ambitions also is going to be another game that comes out later this year. Um, very, very super excited about that game. Very super excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. I want to get my hands on that game so bad. I think that's going to be a very fun, uh, series on the channel. For sure. Yeah, definitely for sure. Totally forgot about that. Yeah. Damn. That's going to be a fun one. I think once that game comes out to everybody too, I think it's going to be a lot of fun for everybody. I think, I think, uh, there's some high hopes there. Put that in. There we go. Have you seen the DLC for Prison Tycoon? Um, hang on a sec, I just absolutely kind of missed something there. This is my first time watching. What is this game all about? Hello, Victor. This is about building. Yeah, we're building kind of houses right now. Um, have I seen the DLC for Prison Tycoon? Uh, which one? Because there's, I think there's two of them, yeah? Okay, let's go here. Wait, do I have to apply those skills or do I just get them automatically? I guess I just get them on automatically. Wheelbarrow capacity. Fill wheelbarrow 12 out of 100 times to get the capacity up. I would like for this to be a smaller number. Because the wheelbarrow capacity is a son of a gun. I tell you what. Okay, we're all out of bricks already. This is a long one, dude. We're in for the long haul, I'm telling you. Hey, Albert Francis, how's it going? This game looks cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool. It's probably one of the best builders out there. I know the title says it in the in the stream, but I do have to believe, like, this game is super in detailed. It, it, there's a few things that I would change with it, like, just how it explains some things in some of these contracts, but other than that, like, I'm not mad about it. It's pretty good. It's pretty good indeed. Having a good time with it. Is this game any good? Uh, well, if you're into building simulators, possibly. Hails to the new Master Mason. His building skills expand beyond roadways. <laughs> German road crew coming in. Hello, thank you very much. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate that. Yeah, we went from roads to now buildings. Watch me go. <laughs> thank you for that. That was really kind. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very much indeed. The Maximum Security DLC, yeah. I have seen that. I Unfortunately, with that game, I've kind of given up on it in a way. Um, and I hate to say that. So wait, do I turn this off? Auto? There we go. I hate to say that because I really enjoyed my time. But every time I play that game or every time an update drops or DLC drops, they find a way to break the game. And it just lose, like I lose my patience with it super fast. 
And early access, I'm a little sour and a little bit bitter, I will say. Like, early access was supposed to be early access for a reason. There was problems with that game in early access. And then, all of a sudden, they dropped 1.0 on us. Like, little to no warning. And it was a disaster. It was like bug heaven. It was just like not even like they didn't even fix out the regular bugs that were in early access it was just like really it's kind of a slap to the face a little bit and so i i kind of got like a bad taste in my mouth with it i know they're coming out with a new game the people that made prison tycoon uh, they are coming out with a new game i'm sure you guys have heard of it by now it's called military camp or one military camp or something like that rather i think they're the same devs Come on. Oh my god, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm gonna need to get another scaffolding in a different place. Or just move that scaffolding rather than get a new, new one. There we go. Let's move this son of a gun. Can I move this? No? Okay, well, I guess I'll just place this over here then. Sure. <laughs> Sure, dude. Place it right there. Place it right there. Okay. Trial me up. There we go. And go up. Is the new house flipper simulator? <laughs> I don't know if it's a new house f uh, flipper simulator, but hey, if you want to build houses for sure, right? I would have to say the house flipper would probably be way better in your investment, but... There we go. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Bring more bricks. Like I said, this is a big, big job. Big banger of a job here. There we go. There we are. Throw these in. We're just like, we're literally constructing a, a, a second story, yeah? I guess that is. Now, it's going to get a little bit spicy when I'm not going to be able to reach the top. That's all right. We got step stools, stool ladders, and things like that. There we go. There we go. Damn it. Ah. Yeah, I, I do wish. I, I kind of... It, it does say to have like 100 wheelbarrows filled before they increase the capacity. I think that's a little too high. I will say, I think it's a little too high. If they, like, brought that number down just a little bit, I think that would be kind of forgiving in a way. That's a lot. 100 wheelbarrows full just to get the level 2 capacity up? It's crazy, dude. Yeah, the money's going down. Every time I buy more bricks, my money goes down. But uh, I get reimbursed, I think, in this game. So it's kind of forgiving right now. At least on our contracts. There's a lot of different game modes in this game. There's, like, a sandbox game mode that I'm kind of interested in. But right now we're doing the contract uh, game mode. There we go. There we are. Okay. <laughs> Hi. So we're going to hit another one here. Buy 300. By the way, Valentine, thank you so much for the uh for the subscription there. Thank you for subscribing. I like the game. Maybe I need to buy it. Hey, maybe you do. Maybe you do. There's a lot to it. Like, I'm not, I'm barely showing off a little bit of it right here. And this even goes for anyone that's been here since the beginning of the stream. Like, I'm still showing off just tiny, tiny bits of this game and what the potential could be here. Uh, there's a lot of things that you could do in this game. I've seen it. I've seen it on videos and stuff like that. Trust me. There we go. I did not think, you know. These contracts would have been this long. At least this contract. This is the longest contract we've had. But it's pretty cool nonetheless. Get to build an entire upstairs. Plus, you know, not bad. Uh, we got a very beautiful view. Music's not terrible. And, um... The game just looks good. Visually, visually it looks good. How are we doing here? Have you been playing House Flipper? Well, we played it a couple weeks ago, I believe. Yeah, we played it a couple weeks ago. Uh, since the pet DLC.
Is there a way to get more people to help you? I don't think there is. No, I don't think it is. I think it's all solo. Now, it is going to get spicier when it, we do get, or, you know, taller here. Or these walls. I don't know how tall they want it, but I guess I'm going. You need to hire a crew to help you build? That would be good. That would be good. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. God damn it. Does your money go down based on time of completion? I don't think so. <clears throat> uh, I, I don't think... So, in the contracts here, I don't know. I, I I think... Well, okay, if you're seeing, like, right now, like, okay, look at here. The, the money's counting down right now. I think it's because we have this on auto. So, if we were to turn this off, maybe. I don't know if this is using resources every time. Right, if we were to turn this off, hang on a sec, let's wait that to fill up here. Turn it off. Okay. Now the money stops. So, it's because we have this on auto, it's it's, it's eating up the resources. But, um, if you're talking about, like, completion of time, I don't think it has to do with the completion of the time, no. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw out some bricks here. What do I think of the shadow government sim? Uh, I gave my thoughts at the end of the video on that on that video this today. <laughs> yeah, I did give my thoughts. I did give my thoughts on the game. I thought it was pretty good. That was really good. I don't want to fall off this building, please. Hand out 80 wheelbarrows to level up. I, like, that's ridiculous, right? 100 wheelbarrows in order to level up. What do you think they are? This is the Weed 3 devs. I know, right? <laughs> I think it's insane, dude. I'm like, 100? My God. Like, what have we could have possibly accomplished in 100 wheelbarrows, you know? Like, I get it if it was maybe like, oh, you know, do 50 wheelbarrows for level 2, and then level 3, get 100 wheelbarrows. But that's not what it is. It's like, oh, level 2, 100 wheelbarrows. Level 3, 500 wheelbarrows. I'm just kidding. I don't know what level 3 would be, but that's what it's kind of feeling like. Do you like the pet DLC? Yeah, I do like the pet DLC. It's actually probably one of my favorite DLCs in House Flipper. Yeah. Yeah, probably one of my favorite DLCs in House Flipper, for sure. There we go. I'm curious to see what the farm uh, DLC for House Flipper brings. So that's gonna be good. You have a ladder? I have a step stool. Hello. What's up? Are you leaving? See ya. Have a great day. Have a great day, my little builder. Have a fantastic day. My little builder. <laughs> I'm building a freaking house, I think. I'm building the second story, dude. And I will see ya. Will you say hi to everybody on the in the on the on the chat? Yo! How dare you? Have a great day. Okay. Put out the bricks now. Okay, I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> I don't know what that is and I'm not ready to know what that is quite yet, I guess. I don't know. That big giant beam. Oh my god. Oh, it's, it must be the ceiling. Yeah, it must be the ceiling slab. Yeah, that's probably what it is. The ceiling slab. Make sure we don't, like, fall in a hole here. Whoops. Trowel, please. Bam. 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 Have I seen the dinner sim? 
Um, if you're talking about the uh, dinner sim, as in like, well, there's a couple of dinner sims, but if you're, or diner sims, uh, if you're talking about the one from the gas station sim sim people, the ones that are making the diner sim, I have seen that. And I am a little excited about that, but there's a couple, a uh, couple different diner sims. Can you hire people? I don't know. I don't think you can. I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure yet. I have no idea. If I were to guess, maybe no. Maybe no. There we go. There we go. And, oh my god. There we go. We got a Danielle arm. Check it out. I'd be listening in the background as I have to put stuff back on my PC as it crashed yesterday. Did you have to do a full reset? There we go. Oh, baby. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now... I don't think that's any more bricks, no? Oh, I guess it is. I guess there's a, a little bit more brick action here. But everything else is, like, pretty much good. Like, we're good to go. We're ready to buy the other stuff. Oh, wait. There's a little bit of stuff up there that we need to get. A little bit of trial action. Yeah. There we go. And then more bricks to add on top of that. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, my God. And then more mortar. Jesus. There we go. And then one last little brick. A little brick that could. There you go, buddy. Okay, this is good, this is good. Oh wait, those are not good, sorry. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, there you go. I could make this a lot easier on myself if I just like got on a higher position here. But look at me struggle. This is a big job for one guy in one day. I do tip my cap to him. <laughs> there we go. There we are. Yeah, the diner sim. Are you talking about the guy? Yeah, okay, yeah. Then, yeah, um, I have definitely have seen of it. And I'm, I'm pretty excited to see more of it. Yeah, I want to see more of it for sure. Absolutely. Let's go and wait for this thing to get going. One day she will say she'll be like, hi. She's done it in the past before, but it's been a while. Yo, what the heck? Did you just take my phone? You can't find your phone? You can only take my phone if you say hi to chat. That's how that works. Sorry. Diner runners? No, not diner. Well, not diner runner. Not the diner runners. Diner runners was the one by uh, DNA Army Gaming, right? That was a god awful game. I should not do the lazy way. You know what? We'll do this. We'll do it this way. Nope, not that. I'll just bring out the step ladder. Yeah, I'll bring out the step ladder. Hopefully, I can use this to jump up here. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted to do. And then we'll just go like this. Go like that. And then we'll try to parkour it. You think we could do it? Yo. We're actually the greatest of all time. There you go. Oh, wait. Whoops. That needed a trowel. I'm an idiot. There we go. And then have a little bit of this action. Put the little building blocks. Fantastic. A little bit of more trowel action. There we go. Then a little bit of more building blocks on top of that. Awesome. Okay, now let's switch over to the next one. I don't know how I'm going to make this. Actually, I need to put the brick down right there, too. This is a very bad way of doing things, but I'm doing it this way. Why? I don't know. Did you find your phone? Did you say hi to chat? No. She just... Oh, no! See ya! Okay. Three. There we go. Do I need anything on top of that? No, I don't. Okay, good. There we go. And then... um, Three. Anything on top of that? Nope. 
And then a little bit of sauce over here, baby. A little bit of sauce. Come on now. Bam! <laughs> oh my god. We're almost there. We're so close. I don't want to have to, like, bring my ladder every freaking second, dude. That's why I'm trying to avoid it. Damn it. And we'll go over here first. If our guy was, like, maybe, like, five inches taller, wish he was a baller, had a rabbit in the hat, you know, so stuff like that, maybe a little bit better. Come on now, rotate now, rotate. There we go. It's a little tedious with the ladder, no? But it, you know, I guess it's the realism, I guess, in a way, right? This is supposed to be like one of the most realistic builder sim simulators out there. There we go. All the way down, please. There we are. Very good. Come on now. Excellent. Good. All righty. This up. Place that right over there. Put that right there. And then jump right on top and send it. Bam. Cool. Check out the video of Dino Runner Runners. It's very funny. <laughs> funny stuff. Off now getting tomorrow uh getting this tomorrow don't want to spoil the rest of the game thanks for showing take care and you and take care and see you on the next one do take care chris thank you for hanging out with us today and i hope you uh, enjoy it when you do pick it up hope you enjoyed this game hey yeah definitely for sure come on now there we go all right let's grab this head over there there we go good oh my god there it is look at that right on our freaking head dude Absolutely. Bam. Finish it off now. Now I don't think this is this is actually yeah it is. Never mind. It is still the same bricks. There we go. Okay, now use this. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty stuff here. I tell you what. Bam. We gotta go higher. We gotta go higher. Damn it! We don't have enough. Pulled out the gat, dude. <laughs> uh, laying down the skilo, skilo rhymes. That's true. If I put the beams in, it would be easier, huh? I could then jump and hop on top of those all the time, huh? See ya, queen. Have a good rest of your evening. You do take care. <laughs> Oh god, I forgot to get that. Did I? You idiot. Grab that. There we go. Good job. Come back up. <laughs> Here we go. A little bit of this action. Slice and dice. Perfect. I'm excited to see what this looks like afterwards, though. Yeah, for sure. This little bit of peace right here. There we go. Build it up. I think that's good. Okay, so let's see here. I want to do... I would like to do, if I can, pick this up. Can I pick up this entire scaffolding or no? Close. Oh. Oh, open? No. Um, I wanted to stack the scaffolding, I think. Or at least try to. Can I, can I stack this? Let's see if I can stack these. I should be able to stack these for sure. Yeah, I can. Okay. So that would go... Ooh. Um, right there. Into right there. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's try that. That's kind of cool how that works. Yeah, I love it. Come up here. And now we gotta get the beams, right? Insert lintels. I think that's what this is, is lintels. Yeah, lintels. Sick, dude. Got it. 
Now let's go around and put these in. Lion, oh god. Lion tails, lintels. Imagine working on a job like this, just like walking on, <laughs> on the edge. There we go. Gonna need to trowel everything here eventually. Put that last brick in, there you go. And then grab here and go like this. Bam. Bam. And then, oh my god, even more brick, my lord. I should have probably not have gone so far with it. My lord. There we go. And basically just even it all out, right? Yeah. There we go. Cool. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Anything else? There we go. So we're out of brick. We're out of a little bit of mortar. We're going to lot. My God, this is... This is a project. Holy hell. For sure, for sure. See you guys and girls on the next stream. I need to go to sleep. It's 2200 here in South Africa. You take it easy, Victor. Take it easy. Bye, Victor. Have a good one. Good to see you, Victor. Hope you take it easy. Good to see you. Okay. There we go. Okay, then we'll turn this back on. We'll get this auto roll in here. This takes a while, dude. There we go. Hit me up with the auto. Good job. Hit me with the trowel. Great job. Go up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then up again. You can't climb here? <gasps> you son of a gun. I know why. <laughs> I just made life harder on myself. Oh my god. There we go. Bunk. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy oh we already bought all the um all the bricks too. There we go. We'll start on one section and then we'll work, you know, towards the other other way. Like this right here is like good to go, yeah? Yeah, there you go. That makes it a little bit easier to kind of sit on. Okay. Then we'll go trowel. Fill that in. Already out of mortar, son of a bitch. There we go. And then a little bit of ceiling as well. Should probably buy more ceiling blocks. We'll buy uh, 20 pieces of that. Yeah, we'll buy 20 pieces of that. Very good. Uh, we will lay down some more of that brick. Lay down some, lay down some more of that pipe. Ha ha. All the way around here. There we go. Okay, now we're getting into the completion zone here. Very, very close. Yeah. Down here. Take any fall damage in a building simulator? No, I don't think so. I absolutely don't think so. Okay. Trial it up. Go inside. Make this more difficult than it needs to be. Because that's how I like to do things. Dude, the whole freaking earth shakes when you put down the ceiling, man. Oh, my God. Okay, so we need more of that. There we go. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. Wait, we're done here? Okay, well, we're done here. Just need a little bit more trowel over here. A little bit more bricks to even it up here. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. Finish it off here. Oh, and got to give a little bit of lintel as well. There we go. Okay, now finish off the trowel. Our guy is like brave, dude. I give it like props. Anybody that works like those line, those linemen, man. You know that work for like um, utility companies and stuff like that. The people that have to climb the poles. Like shout out to them, dude. Shout out to not having a fear of heights. Like I don't have a fear of heights. But, like, when I'm up high and I'm, like, dangling on an edge, I'm like, okay, I kind of feel uncomfortable. But I'm not, like, afraid of heights. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, yeah, I'm very uncomfortable with the situation. Some people just send it, dude. That's impressive. There we go. There we go. Add a little bit more trout. Finish this off. Top it off. Oh, baby. Ready for further work. But that 
that's not what we're hired for. I bet they will love every inch of it. The walls are straight and the ceiling blocks are in place. Good job. Yeehaw! You know how long that took there, Builder? Jesus Christ. Send me to the next one. Interior designer actually seems kind of cool, too. Contract. Money problem. American suburbs. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> this is horrible, buddy! I didn't know the tax system could be so ruthless! They took nearly all our money! If they could, they would probably have taken my wires, too! Welcome Why to America. They're really expensive, so you better treat me well. Anyway, we have a job to do. Our client needs to repaint the walls. I thought this would be an easy task. But yeah, you'll have to take some easy jobs to get some money back. So this is going to be new. Uh, this is... This actually is like... This is kind of the house we built before, kind of. Same layout. But, um... <clears throat> so we got to paint the walls and ceilings. This is a new mechanic that we're going to be using. Is painting. And Bella came in here. She kind of scared me. Paint all interior walls and ceilings using the paint roller. Very well. Paint roller. Uh, I guess... Place that right there. Oh. Wow, look at this. So this is the stuff that I'm talking about. This is the more in-depth, more detailed part of the game. We have paints. We have materials. We have tiles. I guess materials would be like wallpaper. We have textures of paint as well. I really love that. I do. I do love that. Uh, we'll just go a, a, just a regular like color, I guess. Right? I don't know. Let's just go for like a gray if we can. Like a, uh, yeah, a darker gray, maybe? Let's see how that goes. I think I did it right. So mark whole wall. Oh, yeah. Place. Oh, get the material? Excuse me, what? There we go. Place. Okay, nice. Mark whole wall. Place it down. Get the material. Grab the paint. Send it. Oh, okay, yeah. It's a very simplistic uh, way of painting. Oh, mark the whole wall. There we go. Yeah, definitely a, a simplistic way, but I kind of like it. Mark the whole wall. Now, I'll show you here on another one. Um, you don't have to mark the whole wall if you don't want to. You can, might, you can mark tiny little spots as well. There we go. Okay, cool. You can pick an area. So like that little tiny area or that little tiny area, but they're only grids. Which is interesting. So why would you want to do like a grid? I don't know. In case you wanted to get spicy with it. Um, I Like I hate to do this. But I'm going to do it. Just because it's you know. Just the mission itself. See you Aline. Have a good one. Um, I hate to do this. But I'm going to. You know. Ceiling and in, uh, in, in walls. Kind of the same color. It is what it is. Okay. And we're going to the next one. Yeah. There we go. And we should probably bring our paint over here, too, as well. So let's make our paint here. Paint roller. Place it right there. There we go. Uh, mark the wall. Nope. Mark the whole wall. There we go. Uh oh, now I don't have the paintbrush in my hand. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, we're not going to be working with a paintbrush, I guess, anymore. Interesting. All right. Well, that's a little weird. Probably something that needs to be fixed, if anything. There we go. Cool. There we go. It's definitely a different way of doing this in a game. I thought there was going to be more to it, I will admit. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Cool. Nice. Alright, so that's done. Did the ceiling and everything. Let's go move on to the next room, I guess. I was one. Oh yeah, we got to go through the back door, kind of. Yeah. Open this. Excuse me. Okay, bring in the paint, paint roller. Slap it down right there, and mark the whole thing. So I don't know if the paint actually has to be in radius of the walls. I think it does, cause, um, oh, cause when you place down this palette here, it does show like arrows going to the walls and which walls and what it is pointing at. Now I wonder if that just means. This is all you'll get in this radius. You can't paint anything else. Like, you can't go to another room and paint, I don't think. Okay. Grab 
some of that. The devs didn't want you to really do a lot with painting, now did they? I was kind of hoping that it would have been like a house flipper type thing, for sure. Yeah. There we go. There we are. Kira, just stopping by to say, hey, I'm going to watch later. Things have been really crazy lately, but it's starting to get back to normal. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch the next stream on the next time. Sounds good. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing just a-okay. We did it! Yeah, hope you're doing all right. The building is repainted. The client is happy with the final results. Good to see you. Good to see you, though. Give us a little bonus. He better does, because we're nearly broke. Okay, so time to go home. Okay, that, that was just painting. Oh, my God. We went from building a second story house or building to then like painting a little bit. How weird was that? Wrong position, tropical island. Send me up, I guess. Let's go. We have six out of 11 contracts done now. This probably should be like the contract episode or contract stream. All contracts completed. Hi, buddy. Are Hello. You feeling good? Because I'm feeling great. Why? We have a new job. This is a new chance to this prove is beautiful. We're the best in this business. Our new client really needs our help. His house is perfectly built from the outside. But from the inside? Yeah, it isn't good. Our client ripped apart the whole floor and wants to remake it. Did <laughs> I mention this job is on a tropical island? Wow, oh, cool! <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, so insert all the flooring in your home using floor template. Okay, so flooring. Let's go to flooring. Oh, look at this. Now we have furniture and things like that. Oh, how wonderful. Uh, let's go with, where do you go for that? Living room? Oh my god, look at all the furniture, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. But, like, seriously, where do you insert the flooring? I thought there was a flooring. There had to have been. Uh, don't forget about the terrace on the first floor of the building. You can put floor even through the window. Floor template. I see. Probably going to work very similar to the paintbrush. I see, I see, I see. Hmm. Interesting. So we could have wooden, tiles, carpet, or concrete. I'm going to do, like, wood. I think that sounds good for this kind of house. Maybe we go with, like, the brown. Can we go brown, please? Pick the area. Yeah, the entire house, please. I think this looks so okay. Back to the whole basics, though. Very, very simple to put down flooring in a game, in this game. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. It's not too bad, but... I think more people would want to maybe be a little bit more involved with how this happens, but we're all good. Okay, now pull out the floor template. Uh, sorry, I might have to do that all over again. I guess so. Same thing. All right, hit it up with that. Now, I don't know if this works anywhere near as if it was a, uh, a paint where you can be like, pick the whole wall or pick the whole floor. All right, there we go. We'll go upstairs. It says pick area. Yeah, I think it does do the whole entire floor. Okay. Let's see here. I'll try that again. Yeah. Boom. You can just hit it one time. One, two, three. We finished it. I know I can't ride, partner. <laughs> but you don't have to make fun of me. What matters now is the fact that we pleased our client. He said he really likes the way you finished up the floor. Is he going to want us to do furniture? But okay. We deserve a cold glass of cola. Don't forget to buy me one, buddy! Yeah! Oh my god, this guy is actually kind of obnoxious now. Somebody said it! Somebody said it, this guy's annoying. I'm starting to feel it now. I was gonna give him a chance, but... I don't know about that. Building on solid foundation in the Italian town. Okay. I like that. Cool. Thank you, Daniel. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The Italian town. Have what the heck is this? Of building something on your own? Now you have the chance. Our new client wants a construction built from scratch. Not exactly from scratch. The 
foundation and concrete screen is already laid. However, you need to make the rest. You should be pretty excited, right? And we should hurry up. This area reminds me of the episode where the episode of Everybody Lo Loves Raymond where they go to Italy, the two part episode. This is what this is reminding me of a little bit here. All right, so create the mortar and apply it to the trowel. Very well. So can we just auto that, please? <laughs> just simply auto it. I don't want to do it. And I don't even really need to move the wheelbarrow anymore. Guess we can flip this the other way. <clears throat> Swavy kid, how's it going? How you doing? There we go. Okay, now let's go mortar, please. So, we grab the mortar and we do it to the bottom. Yeah. See, now, so far, the instructions, correct. Absolutely correct. <laughs> As of right now. I don't know what the hell we're building. We're building like a, like an outhouse here. Let's go, um, we're going to need a lot. So we're going to need 100 maybe. 500? Let's go with 500. Yeah, let's go 500. Raise his hand. I thought the voice was annoying. Okay, so you were the one that, that said it. I think you're now onto something because, my God. It, like, the voice, like, I, I could get I could get past the voice a little bit, but then, like, he started talking about, like, like, I didn't like his sentences. <laughs> hey, let's go get a nice cold cola. And, oh, don't forget, buy me one. Shut the hell up. Don't ever tell me to buy you a $3 cola. <laughs> he crossed the line. He crossed the line when he told me to buy him a cola. You know what? And he referred it. it was not that, it's not that it's a cola. It's the fact that he referred it to like a cold one. Like, hey, buy me a cold one. Not a beer. <laughs> it's going to be a cold cola. All right. Damn it. Still believe that the capacity for our uh, for our wheelbarrow should be higher. Kind of BS, though. It's kind of BS. BS, BS. Are we making a shed? What are we doing here? What is this? Um, uh, one. There we go, there we go. This is like a tiny house, dude. Tiny houses are kind of dope, I will say. I live in a tiny house, kind of. I live in a tiny house that you could classify if it was back in the 1970s. go and now fill this up and redo it I'm gonna head out have a good night everyone have a good night there uh, James do take it easy do take it easy have a good rest of your evening there we go Oh my god, dude. Oh. Like, let me just let me just show off the skills here. Let me just show. So all this time that we put into this game, we've got to level two on our hollow brick. We're actually about to hit level three on our hollow bricks, right? Which is kind of sick. Uh however, wheelbarrow capacity capacity. We've only done 23 full wheelbarrows. A hundred you are out of your freaking mind. Whoever made this decision, I need to speak with them. I need to speak with them. Diamond shovel, click to activate and deactivate. What the hell is a diamond shovel? Concrete mixer, create concrete 13 out of 100 times. That seems ridiculous too. <laughs> My God. Oh, damn it. Did I not put the auto on? I did not put the auto on, did I? Good Lord. Good actual lord. So I think what I should do is I should turn off this machine when I'm not using it. There you go.
this game looks really interesting. Victor sent me. Oh, very good. Very good. Hello, that one guy. How you doing? Place it all down now. There we go. There we go. Wow. <laughs> all right. Place it in now. Like, is a diamond shovel supposed to incentive, in, in, like, supposed to uh, incentivize? Uh, oh, hey, you know what? Don't use the mixer. Because the only time we use, well, I, you know what? No, time out. I, I do back it up, back it up. I was going to say, the only time we use a shovel is when we are trying to put stuff into the mixer. That's not true. Uh, because we dug out trenches for a foundation. So I, that, that's not true. I, I'll back my statement now on that one. There we go. <laughs> I'll back in my I'll back that thing up before I get uh, too ahead of myself here. I knew a girl who worked at the local gentleman club named Diamond Shovel. <laughs> was that in real life or was that in Minecraft? <laughs> Diamond Shovel. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Again, I, I'm really not sure. I, I I didn't read the description. If I would have read the description, I would have figured out what the hell we're building here. But I'm still not like 100% sure. It does seem like a very awkward place to build whatever we're building here. Because like there, that seems like a driveway of some sort. Somebody's car there. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Unless this is a garage. No, this isn't a garage. Yeah, because it's a tiny little door. Yeah, I'm not really sure. But this is a very, very awkward spot, I believe. Like, look at this. If I was coming through the village, right? And I just walk through here. What the heck is that? You know? <laughs> this is like a water pump shed? I don't know. Maybe it's going to be like a garden shop or a little pizzeria. I don't know. Here we go. Wonderful. I definitely do believe, though. I, I will say, I talk about all the time on new games where it's like is the game worth it will the game get you uh, your, your price out of it i'd probably like early on because i haven't played a lot like what i'm only like a couple hours into this game i haven't played a lot but i do have to say like you definitely will probably get probably as assuming uh, probably will get your money's worth out of this game just because like for instance i did the bundle i got 16 dollars usd for this game i 100 believe you could definitely get uh, six, $16 out of this game. Yeah, I believe you can get $16 out of this game, 100%. 16 hours out of your dollar, sorry, your dollar value. Yeah, um, I think there's enough content there. And it's not bad, like, it's definitely not a bad game. It's a very, it's a very relaxing game, too. It's kind of why I'm, like, chilling out over here, dude. I really am. I'm not very high energy in this because it's just, like, there's no need to be, like, bouncing off the walls when you're building walls, right? I'll take that quote to my election for 2024, please. Yeah, so. I think it's pretty much, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I do, I do. Let's turn that off now. I just want, there's a few tweaks, right? There's a few tweaks that I would obviously make in this game. Um, you know, one being this. Uh, the wheelbarrow to 100, I think is a little bit too much. They could easily just tweak that, no problem. I think uh, some of these contract description quest lists um, are kind of like backwards in some regards. Some of them, like most of them are, they, they, they do the job, but some of them are kind of messed up where it's like it, confu it confuses the hell out of you. Like, oh, I shouldn't be doing that first, even though the game's telling me to do that first, you know, that kind of thing. Overall, though, not, that, not bad, not bad, not bad indeed. Boom. Oh. And if you wanted to be a builder, this is it. You can be Bob the freaking builder, I guess. Well, maybe not Bob. You can be Builder, the actual robot, the Claptrap, the robots movie starring Robin Williams and Amanda Bynes. Drew Carey is a, not a cameo. Drew Carey wasn't a cameo in that. Like, uh, you think of like a lot of Drew Carey, like, TV shows, maybe like that, but like, that's like the only Drew Carey movie I know of. 
Like, I don't know any other Drew Carey movies. Now, obviously, there was the Drew Carey show, which I really, really wish I could find. It's so hard to find that. There's so many problems with that series, though. That's why you can't find it anywhere. But I would really love to, like, watch the complete series of the Drew Carey show. Just because I want to know what that hype was all about back then. And I want to know how, like, how that... I, I think of the receptionist. The receptionist in the Drew Carey show. I forgot her name in the show. Um... Because I have, I've seen episodes, I've seen a couple episodes, like, bootleg episodes on YouTube and stuff, but, like, or, like, clips and stuff, but, um, I, I, I don't remember the name of, of the, the, the lady that had, like, crazy makeup, dude, crazy makeup all the time, I think that's what, she, I think she was a receptionist, anyways, yeah, so there's just a lot of problems with that TV show, they definitely built, or they definitely made that uh, TV show, uh, not thinking of the future, I guess. But who could have really thought about the future? You know, in that regard. They were just trying to have a good time. Never would they have ever known that there would ever be uh, licensing copyright issues with a TV show like that. But, I mean, that they, I don't know. Back then, they should have probably had the idea. But I do like me, myself a little bit of Drew Carey on the prices right now. I do enjoy that. For sure, for sure. Have a good night. Have a good night, Peter. Do take it easy. Do take it easy. There we go. Pour this in. Come on, baby. There we go. And then we'll switch this back to auto. Pull her at all. I don't know if it matters if I need to, like, Crank it all the way back up, but you know, auto. All right, now I think I'm gonna have to get another step ladder, unfortunately. Possibly. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, wait a sec. Maybe I can get up there. Let's see. Let's go here before I get it too high. There we go. Perfect. Looks like I'm going to need a little bit of that lintel stuff. What is it called? Lintel? Lintel? One? Yeah, just one. Because I think there's one door. I don't know if they're doing window. I guess maybe a couple eventually. Yeah, there's going to be another one we're going to need to get for the window. There we go. And then, uh, yeah. Fill that in. There we go. Bam. Bam. Damn it. Damn it. Turn it off. So much, dude. So much micromanaging. I love the show. Whose line is it anyways? Hilarious. That's a fantastic show. That is. That is a fantastic show. You could actually watch that. the older uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway. I believe I, I forgot what, what it was on. If it was on Paramount or if it was on Amazon Prime Video. I'm not really sure, but yeah, no. Um, or maybe it was... No, it's HBO Max. HBO Max, I believe, is where you can watch that show. Um, but yeah, that, that show was so good. So funny. I do have to say, though, like, how talented those guys are. Man. So talented. But, um... I mean, they, they have the new... Who, I don't know if anybody knows, but... They do have the no, uh, new... Who line, whose line is it anyway? Like, they have a new version of it. But I, I gave it a shot, but I wasn't really that into it. I, I don't think it just... It's not the same people, so... for the, Well, I don't know. It's not the same era <laughs> anymore. So it just didn't hit anymore. But I did give the uh, new Whose Line Is It Anyway show a try. It just wasn't for me, I guess. But the older one is a banger. It's a pretty good one. Uh, da, da, da. Hello, Nick. I love... Like, I think my, I, I can't remember my favorite skits from it. I, I think I really loved when they did the, um, uh, when they did the, uh, like the, the prop skit. I forgot which, what it was called, but like they would go out, right? They would go out or like one at a time they would pick up or no, they would, they would be a, ra they would be assigned a random prop, right? It'd be two teams of two and they'd be assigned a random prop and then they would have to like do something funny with it. 
and trying to make someone and trying to make I think someone laugh. I think I can't remember. My God, it's been a second, but that one was funny. The prop one, the prop one for freaking absolutely sure. Oh my God, dude! Like f off. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you think it in the 1998 series. I think the, the funny thing about it. Hey, Gettysburg. How's it going? Um, I think the funny thing about it was they kind of like low key in a way. I felt like it. I don't know. I felt like they like low key kind of like would uh would give Drew Carey a hard time and be like all you do is just sit there <laughs> that's all you do <laughs> but then like at the end of the show they'd be like all right this is the show where the points don't matter you know and then like Drew Carey would, um, sometimes would do, like, he, he would participate towards the end, I think. Yeah, he would definitely participate towards the end. And he actually would be pretty good. He would be. Improvisation. Good improv skills. There we go. I popped in earlier, but the chat didn't work. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. we go there we go and a little bit right there and then yep a couple bricks right there there we go finish this off a little bit here there and then right here and right here as well okay now what we do is we go into the lintel i think we have oh we have we no yeah we have we need one more Slide that right there. Very good. Put in some trowel action. There as well. And then here. Whoops. I just brought the wheelbarrow up here, I think. Oh, no. Okay, good. I didn't. <laughs> there we are. And then finish it off with the ceiling. Oh, my God. One ceiling short. And I think that's it, right? And we're done. No, now we got to do the inside. Ah, I respect the grind. I do, I do, I do. Very well. So wait, what does it want us to do first, though? Buy windows and insert them in the appropriate places and then buy doors. Okay, so doors and windows. We only need one door, one window, I think, so. Uh, buy and buy. Right? Yeah. Adjust it. Just a regular door. It doesn't matter. Not like it's our house anyways. <laughs> I hit that bunts that hit that bot once already. Does it re did it resurrect? It, uh, it probably there's probably multiple accounts that are very that are identical and they have probably hundreds of accounts of the same that just go out and bot people like I don't I don't understand it I don't get it I don't know what's the whole agenda around it I really don't there we go Okay, now a roof. I guess we're doing the whole giddy up here, aren't we? Yeah, we are doing the whole giddy up. <clears throat> roof, template, two. Ah, you can make it taller or smaller. Ah, haha. -ha. I feel like a flat would be good. Especially for an Italian, I don't know. <laughs> roof beams. Oh, I did not want to buy 100, please. Uh, back that out. No, no, no. I don't want... I bought a hundred! Son of a gun. That is not good. 
I think I can sell stuff, so I'm not... I shouldn't worry too much. Luckily, I'm not a bot. I have a brain that called thinking. I have a brain that called thinking. Imagine if you fell at this point. <laughs> One little brick at the top you reach. <laughs> cannot be bargained with <laughs> okay so I'm gonna need to like get up there damn it okay so let's let's pull out the scaffold I guess I mean do I need the scaffold I probably should let's not let's not be lazy about it let's just do it pull out the beams please now hopefully I don't run into the whole roof tile roof tile uh, debacle shit that I had earlier here we go. So can I sell? Sell all the roof beams. Sell all the bricks. We'll go into the roofing and we'll buy 50? 50 tiles? I can't imagine this would be that big. I don't even know, dude. I hate this part, dude. This is like the worst part of the game right here. The tiles. If you were here earlier in the stream, you would understand. But my god. This one sucks. go okay, I'm, I'm trying to focus in a lot hey, oh thank god this time. You made it. hooray I was skeptical at first, but it so don't understand why this is a house I'm built right really here so is it's just so awkward Good place job. like yeah. pudding yeah. Jesus Christ that, that that I don't know I don't know that that I feel like that building that we built has a lot of like city violation like what? Oh, if I click continue. There's no reason for that house to be built right in the middle of this road. It really isn't. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Thank God we don't need to do that again, though. What's the point of the bot? It's not like they spam scan links, ju just random emotes. That's the thing. I don't understand it either. Like, I, 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 it makes zero sense. Fixing damn. Like, what is it going to do? Like, what is, who, who is it going to do anything about, right? You know? This test won't be as easy as the previous ones. It'll be hard and demanding. You love it! Oh, you want to know what it's all about? The house of our client was damaged during the last windstorm. We need to finish the exterior and interior. It may sound easy, but trust me, it'll take a lot of work. Client wants the house to be ready ASAP. Let's go! Big YouTubers and Twitch users use bots to get popular. Ninja is the biggest one who used a million bots to be famous. He used a million bots? I didn't even know he used bots. Did he really use bots? I didn't know that. Insulate building. So let's first insulate. Insulate, right? Insulation, I'm assuming. Let's see if this is correct first. No, not the right insulation, I don't think. Plaster the exterior of the building with plastering trowels. Okay, plastering trowels. That is plaster gun. Uh, wait. Bucket of water. Okay, hang on a sec. Skimming blade, sledgehammer, paint roller, scanner, plaster gun, trowel, working platform, bucket. Wait a sec. Whoa. <laughs> Time out. Um, see ya, tech. Have a good one. Floor insulation, no. Bearing walls, insulation board. Maybe that? Yes, that's better. Okay, good. Okay. All right, let's get a bunch of that then. Okay, cool. Let's get a hundred. Drop five grand on that. Anyways. Um, no, yeah, I, I didn't had no idea if that was even true about ninja. I had no idea um, But you could technically buy subscribers. It is a thing uh, It is against terms of service obviously I think you can buy like a hundred subscribers for like five dollars and then you can buy like a thousand subscribers for like 20 bucks, I think. I think 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. Somewhere in there. That's a very long range, but 
it is possible to buy subscribers but you can tell when someone buys subscribers for the most part there's a website you can check and like one day they'll have like zero subscribers subscribe to them for the you know for like weeks on end and then one day all of a sudden they will have a thousand subscribers and you're like how obviously they bought them <laughs> but when you do buy the subscribers you know as the bot accounts um it obviously shows like if you have let's say a thousand subscriber channel and you post a video and you have one view on your video that's not very organic now is it <laughs> it's not You got to build your channel organically. And that takes a lot of time and effort, which a lot of people, some people just don't have the patience to do. It's a marathon, not a sprint for the most of us. Like most of us. Some people do run into a sprint. Roof tiles remind me of the Q-Bert. Just got to step on all the tiles to change the color and not fall off. When I tried Twitch last week, people kept asking me to buy bots. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I don't like. I've never seen it because I've never looked into it. Like, it, obviously, but I've seen like videos where I saw people buy YouTube subscriber bots, and then like somebody made like a video showing this is what this is how you know a channel is 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 buying bots or whatever. But people even do that when they um, are starting off their um, their Instagram too. Like, people will buy Instagram followers to make it look like they have a presence on social media. There we go. Twitch is one of the hardest... Dude, Twitch is... I think Twitch is a very, very hard place to stream, though. For sure. I mean, it's a hard place to create. I mean, you're, you're battling it out with, with thousands and thousands of creators, right? So, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Thousands and thousands of creators on Twitch where you have to try and hope that somebody discovers you. That's the thing about Twitch. Twitch is, is all hope that you will be discovered. Um... And you can only be discovered for the most part on Twitch when you're live, which then uh, translate into people streaming 8, 10, 12 hours a day, wasting their time streaming to nobody when they could be making that time, that 10 to 12 hours of time of content that they could be putting on, on, um, on, uh, what is it? on um on youtube where if they had all this time on youtube or used all this content on youtube then guess what yeah that video that you created for for youtube could be circulating every day day in and day out throughout youtube on the platform right obviously you never have to be live it's a forever video that will be there for you and anybody can discover it at any given time Okay, so plaster the exterior of the building with plastering trowels now. So now we got to do the exterior. We have to buy the, the, the plaster, no? I don't think so. I, I would assume that we have to use somehow. Bum, 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 bum. Plastering, like plastering, maybe plaster. No, it said with a trowel. Yeah, it did say with a trowel. I think the name of the bot is the same as its site. It's same as the site it's advertising. It's ridiculous. Plastering trial. This is it. I really wish YouTube had a, had a better sense of it. Like I really wish YouTube had a better. Uh, um, what is it? A better like system on how to like not have bots in all the time like have bots bot your channel you know 
And the whole subscriber, uh, being a subscriber to chat, like, I think, I'm pretty sure subscriber mode is on. I'm pretty sure. I will t uh, check, though. Let me just double check real quick. I'm pretty sure subscriber in chat is on. Because if it is, that's the whole point of having subscriber on only. Hey, subscriber. My God, somebody just subscribed. Thank you, Nahid. Or Nahad. Nahad. Live chat. Yeah, it is for subscribers only. See, that that's the way to, you know, kind of... Make sure that that stuff doesn't happen. But apparently, it's not working today. Why is it not working today? I don't know. They might have found a better place. They might have found a, a better way to do it. Builder is the new Jar Jar Binks. I'm not going to argue that. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, see, I gotta bring that uh, thing over here now. Whoops. It's right there. There we go. I'm looking forward to a sprint. <laughs> the sprint are the people that like to get into controversial topics. The sprint are for the people that like to make 10-minute uh, videos of, like, awesome gameplay, which is, that's a talent in its own, own self. A sprint is something to go viral, virality, right? All these sprints. A way to find a video to go viral, right? Oh, damn it. You can make a video go viral. But it doesn't mean that vi that viral video will have people uh, sustain or be sustained onto your channel. Uh, they'll see your video. They might subscribe. You know, and then they probably might not ever see you again. You know? That's why I don't want a viral... Like, it'd be cool, I guess, vi a viral video. I'd be like, oh, yeah, look, mom and dad. <laughs> look what the hell I just did. But, like, at the same time, I'd be like, uh, I only want people that are going to be here that want to be here. Not... People that are here because they accidentally hit the subscribe button because they saw a, a banging 10 minute clip. <laughs> no hurry. <laughs> Besides, YouTube has moved more towards rewind, uh, rewarding creators for engagement and not merely numbers of subs or views. That's true. Very true. Very true. Very true indeed. Very true indeed. I think uh, content creation is... Uh, I personally think if if making money is like a big deal to you, uh, you definitely want to do YouTube over Twitch as a small creator. For sure. There's more opportunities, I believe, in YouTube than there is in Twitch as a small creator. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Like, anything that we get as far as, like, memberships and, uh... What is it? Uh, God. Damn it, I just accidentally did that. Uh, Super Chats, especially. Um... Like, that's a 70-30% uh, take, you know? Like, YouTube takes 30%. The creator takes 70%. You know? You already get the 70-30 as a small creator compared to 50-50 when you become uh, affiliate on Twitch. You know what I mean? Now it's time to use the plaster gun. Once you fill the whole building, it's time to level the walls. Very well. But the hardest thing is, is obviously getting uh, into the YouTube partner program, of course. Right? Am I doing this right? What the hell am I doing? Plaster the interior. Whoops. I am absolutely doing that wrong. Yeah, so the hardest part about it all is obviously becoming uh, in the partner program. And to be a partner program, you got to be a thousand subscribers. That's the hardest thing to do as a creator. I even think getting followers on... I think followers on Twitch is obviously harder to do than 
subscribers on YouTube. I and I think that just has to do with maybe the uh, the population between the two. I think there's more there's more users on YouTube, I believe, than Twitch. And I'm not talking just gaming. I'm just talking overall users. So automatically, your users a month, there's like way more people on YouTube than there are on Twitch, which more people means more eyes. More eyes means more chance of discoverability, you know? And you can do that all offline. <laughs> you don't have to be live like you do on Twitch. Like, people follow me now on Twitch still? Because there might be a time I, I go back and stream on Twitch, maybe. Do I have any plans right now? Uh, not right now. But I'm never disregarding the fact that I might ever... Uh, maybe things change and I take an approach that I want to go back and stream on Twitch and things like that. But, um, you know, it's never a... Uh, it's never a never again type situation, if that makes sense. Maybe the bots are subs. <laughs> they subscribe to the freaking channel, dude. Spiffing Brit did a YouTube exploit video that everybody spamming chat and then uh, dis uh, de liking so they could all like at the same time and make a spike. Are you serious? I didn't see that. I did not see that video. That's interesting, though. See you, Darren. Take it easy. Thank you for hanging out with us, and thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. There we go. Now we get to use a skimming blade blade. We haven't used a skimming blade. I don't even know what that does. Oh. Oh. I guess that's what it does. Oh. Okay. Yeah, cool. Sick. Luckily it's like a one hit click. Let's go. I feel like, also, like, I don't know, like, the people on YouTube are, the communities you find on YouTube, because there's obviously hundreds and thousands of communities you can find on YouTube, but I find that the communities on YouTube are a lot more pleasant than sometimes on Twitch. Sometimes on Twitch, man, you can run into a community that will demolish you. <laughs> they will, they will go after you for everything, and they will make your life hell sometimes. I haven't had that on YouTube. There we go. Oh, wait, to plaster this entire room. I didn't even see this front room. Whoops. Nope, not a trial. A gun, please. Where's the gun? Uh, there it is. It basically ended up doubling the viewers a few cycles in a row because it bumped the recommendation ranks. That's the thing, dude. YouTube back in like 2013, the algorithm was set to something, dude. I, and people got cracked out on YouTube because of how the algorithm was back then. But now it's super complicated. Like, I think there's like a formula that you can look up to see what how YouTube does their algorithm, like the formula. And it's super complex. Absolutely complex. But yeah, now it's all about recommendations, I feel like. That's why it's always important to like like a video, uh, comment on a video, interactions and things like that. Uh, you know, that helps the creator uh, have people, you know, some people are like, oh, I, I just found your, you know, I just found your, your channel last week and uh, I didn't know you exist. Like we had it today, earlier today. Somebody's like, I, you know, I had no idea you existed, right? Well, you know, I haven't gotten that love yet from YouTube uh, in a big sense like i have for sure for sure for sure i will say like i'm very blessed for my situation i will say but not in like a gigantic form of way like my my most popular videos my most popular video on the channel is only like 44,000 views other than that 
It's all slower and lower than that. Now, we should be done with this, no? Ah, this little piece right here. Really? The freaking door, dude? Okay, now trim it. Blade it. Do something with it. Okay, shut the door. Now, blade it. We good? Okay, anywhere else. Little, tiny, tiny little speck. Oh my god, do I gotta go through all this? <laughs> Can you make stucco walls in this building if they don't, uh, if they don't about, if they don't care about the style? I think so, yeah. I think you can. Yeah. Okay. I, I hate that I have to go through every little crevice here just to make sure it's all done here. Popcorn ceiling walls. <laughs> Love the popcorn ceiling walls. Do YouTube plaques even uh, matter anymore? Um, if you're talking like the uh, the milestone plaques, uh, I think they, well, I don't know if they matter to some people, but I think they're pretty cool. If, if, you're, if you're talking about the milestone plaques, I don't, you know. I think they, they would matter. That would be an entire achievement in itself. What the heck is this last piece, dude? This is it, right? We're done? Open up. Like, nothing else is, needs to be done, no? Oh, God. Now we're back to the whole, like, where's the tiny, tiny little speck that the game is wanting me to do? Yeah, the milestones. I think they matter. I, I, I think they matter. But I think it's all based off of opinion. I think it all just depends on who you are, really. I think they matter, though. I like them. I think they, uh, I think it, it's, it's a proud kind of moment, milestone moment. You have to pay for those, though. <laughs> I don't know if anybody knew of that, but it's not like YouTube hands them out for free. <laughs> you have to pay money for them. Oh my god, dude. I don't know where this last piece is. Everything is plastered. No. Oh, wait. Do I have to do... I don't have to do, like... No. Like, the ceiling is good here. Maybe a spot behind the door hinges. Good shout. Let me try the ceiling in here. Ceiling's good in there. Let me try the ceiling in here. Ceiling is good in there. You have to pay for your achievement? You do. <laughs> do <laughs> I didn't know you had to pay for the plaques yeah I think like I'm trying to think of like Raptor right Raptor hit a million subscribers the gold plaque I think it was I, I like I, I'm not saying for him like I'm not saying he said anything or anything like that but I think for a gold plaque I think it's like if I'm, if I'm, I think it's like between three to five hundred dollars. I believe. Possibly. And then you have to pay for shipping and all that shit. I don't know what the silver one, how much that one's for. But I mean, if you make a million subscribers, if you have a million subscribers, maybe then like three to five hundred dollars isn't maybe too much for you. But yeah. Hey, Fleming. I don't know, dude. I don't know where this last piece is. This is kind of irritating. I really wish that the game had like, had an option where you could like, you know how in some games you press like a button and you could see like, oh, like it highlights a, a spot that you haven't done yet. I don't know. I really am not sure. Unless it's bugged out. I don't know. It's kind of unfortunate though. I mean, I could save it and reload it. Let's save it. Um, F. We'll call it triple F. We'll save it and reload it, maybe? Maybe that will do the job? 
diamond plaque is crazy price then. Or even the, uh, the ruby. I don't know how much the ruby one would be. Okay. Treat it as a maze and follow the right hand rule to every uh, crevice. Okay, good shout. Let's start from the door here. Let's pull out the gun. Oh, god damn it. Maybe there's like a spot where I haven't hit yet. And I'll just spray everything in hopes that I get it, maybe? Because I don't think this ruins the... Uh, I think I don't have to I don't think I have to scrape or anything like that. There we go. I would contribute to a plaque fund for your first one. <laughs> that would be very that's very kind of you. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you, Leslie. That was very sweet of you. You already contribute a lot as it is. Thank you. All right, come on now. Oh, oh, look it. Is that it right there? Or did I, or was that me that did that? I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh baby. Jesus Christ, we did it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so paint the walls and ceilings. Alright, we can do that. Paint the walls and ceilings. We'll go in here first. Pick a color. Any color. Choose a color. Any color. Can I just like choose like a actual wallpaper? I want to see how that looks. Why? Mark whole wall. Okay, that was not what I chose, but that's fine. I guess it doesn't matter. Plus, they want us to paint anyways. They don't want wallpaper. They want us to paint. Just do gray. That's fine. I thought the ruby one was fan made for PewDiePie for 100 million. I don't think so. No, it's. A, I think it's a legit one. Yeah, because uh, multiple like uh, other channels have have the ruby one as well too. Yeah, I think it's a. I think it's a real deal one. By the way, thank you for subscribing there. Jesus, another Daniel. <laughs> hey, Daniel Bex. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate that. There we go. Wonderful. There we go. And you know about the whole, like, bot thing. Sometimes, you know, maybe certain games get targeted. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. Like, certain games get targeted, and they're like, oh, you know, this game came out today, so it's very popular. It's very trendy right now. And so, you know, bam. <laughs> get hit with the, uh, get hit with the, uh, with the, with the bots or something. I don't know. I really don't know the, 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 uh, the, the logic behind it. Lots of Daniels, indeed. Hello, uh, Dub Dan. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. There we go. Paint the walls. Sick. We got a new level up and paint the walls. Get the material. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. We need it. Just put another one in here. There we go. What does that do, actually? Hang on a sec. What does that skill do for us? <coughs> oh, two walls at once. Okay. Okay, roll it. Get it. I mean, it doesn't really... Well, I guess it does matter. Still burn through it pretty fast, regardless. There we go. 100 million subs is crazy. I know. I, I don't understand that either. Like, I don't understand... I don't understand 100 million subs. It just uh, it doesn't click in my head. It doesn't. 
Like a very, like, there's only like so many people, right, that have 100 million. I think there's like maybe seven or eight channels possibly that have 100 million subscribers. But um, there's a channel out there that's about to hit 100 million subscribers. And it's a channel I never thought would ever like hit 100 million subs. <laughs> that's the WWE Network YouTube channel. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like, damn. A lot of wrestler fans out there, aren't there? Did I do the ceiling in here? I can't tell. I think I did. Yeah, I did do this. Damn it. Just redid it. <coughs> Seems like a different color shade. There we go. This whole painting thing's a little kind of weird, too. I'm not really sure how I like it. There we go. Luckily, I don't think we have to pay for any paint. No. We don't have to pay for any of the paint. I'm doing well. I trust you are always doing well. <laughs> I trust you're always doing well. That's a good way to put it. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> it's a good way to put it. I try to do as well as I can. That's that's let's just put it that way. I try to do as well as I can. <laughs> uh, did I do the ceiling in here? I can't remember. Mr. Beast is at 80 million. I won't surprise if he gets Oh yeah, he definitely will. Oh, yeah, he definitely will. He'll pass PewDiePie. He'll pass PewDiePie. 100%. 100%. I guess, like, right? Because, like, PewDiePie... I mean, he said it himself. I don't know if it... Yeah, it's, you know, I... You know, he says he's retired. But he, like, puts up videos sometimes. But PewDiePie is, like, super young, too. But he says he's retired, so I don't know. We go. I think PewDiePie is like 32, 34, if I were to take a guess. Maybe 32, 34 ish. There we go. I'm I'm very, very excited to be done with this mission. I tell you what, this contract, I'm out of here. Out of here, dude. Oops. Should probably have used a better uh, color so I can kind of like know what has been colored and what hasn't. Seems like even though I colored the ceiling gray, it looks still green. Okay. And then lay the floors throughout the whole building. Okay, we can lay the floors. We got the floors. Okay, right, floors. Okay, what kind of floor? I'm thinking of like a white. Yeah, can we do like a yeah like a marble type thing? Can we do that? Is that is that possible? I guess it is. Yeah. Bam. Another task successfully complete. Oh my god. Pretty good team, don't you think? <laughs> All right, we're done. I'm the brains of the operation, and you're the muscle. Oh, don't get so offended. I know you're as important as I am, but what really Amazing matters, you can make enough on YouTube to retire. Oh yeah. Work. It's obvious. Cause we're the best. Yeah. There's uh there's YouTube channels out there that have like 40,000 subscribers. They make 10,000 a month. $10,000 a month just off YouTube. That doesn't count sponsorships or anything like that. It's kind of crazy. It's very crazy. It's saying like the in the when it comes to market. Oh god, did it crash? They say when it comes to market, uh, video game. The video game in industry is one of the biggest industries that's continuing to grow every year. Um, it's starting to surpass movie and uh, movie entertainment and the movie industries and TVs and all that and 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 like sporting events at least in the U.S. Right? The winds. Oh baby, the countryside. The winds. Neon paint next time to make it clear? Yeah, probably. <laughs> one bad and one not so bad. Which one do you want to hear first? I'll make this decision for you. Firstly, 
Because of the last windstorm, there is a problem with a lot of houses. This means we have a huge amount of work. Yeah, look at all the windows. Second news is that we have a new task. Client needs this building to be completed as fast as we can. Holy hell. We want what is already on the plot to be further damaged. It shouldn't be a problem for a skilled oh builder God. like you. Why? Why? Why is there like 20,000 windows? What the hell, man? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You need 13 damn windows? Are you sure? Are you actually sure? So this is only the, for the first floor. We'll give you 13 windows. Good God almighty. Put in the door first. Now this is a very easy thing to do, obviously, but it's just going to be a little tedious is all. I'll put a white door this time. We're going to go white. White door, white windows. That's what we're rolling with. And then I will slowly just place every window that needs to go. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. There we go. Bam. I mean, if you were a part of YouTube in the golden era, right, you made a lot of money. It is what it is. Like two, 2012, 2011, 2013, before there was like a really big hit on copyright and there's a lot of copyright issues and, you know, the copyright game didn't, wasn't practically there, you know, companies had no idea, you know. Bam. Now, uh, YouTube is super protective over their advertisers more than anything, I feel like. There we go. Cool. All right. Um, let's drill everything in that needs to be drilled. This person wanted a gazebo, but the zoning regulations forced to be a house. <laughs> have a good one, Devin. It was good to see you. It was good hanging out with you again. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Hope you have a good rest of your day, indeed. Dun, 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 dun. Again, I don't agree with 13 windows. I don't know what you're trying to accomplish with 13 windows. This is definitely a timeshare that I would not like to go to. I, I, I would not be able to, like, walk around butt naked. There's too many windows. I feel insecure at all times. <laughs> there we go. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, okay, okay. So now let's squeegee it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. 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 Do they... I don't know how that works. Do the squeegees... I guess they do stay in there permanently. Yeah, because that... They stay in there. I don't know what they're actually used for, really. They stay in between. And then they... I don't know what this is called. This uh, yellow stuff. I, I really forgot what it is. Is that insulation, I guess? The yellow stuff? Yeah. Possibly. Oh my god. Now I gotta do this. Every window. Inside and outside. There we go. This will just take a half a minute. Or two. Maybe even more. There we go. There we are. Place it. They look like little tiny cheeses. Or mouses. There we go. Fleming says, is this game good? Are is is the game worth it? Um, I think it's a very, very professional game. I think it's a very in deep, deep, detailed game. I I think if you could pick it up for a pack, because you can get it packaged dealed up with a discount. I pick it up for like 16 USD. Um because I own bakery sim as well. But I I honestly think that you'll get your 
16 hours out of it if you paid $16 per se. If you paid $19 out of it, I still think you probably will get your 19 hours out of it because this is only one game mode that I'm doing. I'm only doing contracts right now. I have not done sandbox. I have not done, um, I, for I forgot what the other mode was called. But yeah, there's a couple of modes that I haven't done yet. So if you want a builder simulator type game where it's very, it's, it's pretty realistic, I would say, compared to most others. This is definitely the game to go. I would have to say this is probably visually, interface wise. Also, probably one of my favorite builders yet. But that's only because I, I like uh, certain things and how they do things here in this game compared to the other games. But it all depends. It, I guess if you're like really into building and building simulator games, this probably would be no problem. Like you pick this up and be like, yeah, I'm very satisfied. If you are more or less a person who is, I'm thinking about getting into builders or I'm interested in builders, maybe, you know, maybe it, it could work out for you. Maybe it might not be able to work out for you. I mean, that, that really, you just gotta, you know, if you play in, if you're choosing this or house flipper, I would say choose house flipper, obviously, right? But like if you didn't own House Flipper and you didn't own this game and you had to choose between the two, I would say House Flipper. Go with that. You'll have more fun with it. But yeah, this game's not bad. This game's not bad though. I definitely have played worse. I will say that. You know I love House Flipper. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, there's a sandbox mode in this game. So it will give you a feel of like kind of a house slipper type thing, but you're really building the entire house, which is actually kind of cool. There's two different, there's two different difficulties too in this game. There's like the easy mode difficulty and then there's hard difficulty. So if you were like very expert and very knowledgeable about building houses, you could put on hard difficulty and then the game wouldn't tell you what to do. You just got to do it yourself, which I think is a pretty cool, um, cool little, uh, challenge there for sure one two three four five six seven eight okay, eight windows there we go it's that bad boy right there that bad boy right there The goal of today's stream is I definitely want to complete all the contracts too. That's my goal because I think there's 11 contracts. I want to I want to complete them all. There we go. I don't even know what number contract we're on now though. <laughs> I kind of lost track. I'm kind of going until the game says, "Oh, no more." There we go. Okay. Oh. Countryside makes me feel like I'm playing DayZ a little bit, I will say. That's a guilty pleasure game, for sure. Guilty pleasure. Oh, American Theft 80s is coming out soon, too. I think it comes out, like, next week or so. Then we have the Thief uh, Simulator DLC coming out very shortly. My God, it's going to get busy, dude. All this stuff is coming out, and then Next Fest starts on the 13th. Oh, yo, yo. It's going to get busy. It's also a new game coming out tomorrow. I haven't decided if I'm going to stream it or not. I, I really want to, but it's a very big game. A very uh, pricey game as well. But I have to check my, uh, I gotta check my, uh, my stats after, after the stream and see, oh, how did everyone respond to the community post I put out last night? We'll see how that goes. There we go. I showed Danielle the trailer of the game. Talk about the quarry. It's the game I'm talking about. I showed Danielle the, the trailer of the game and she's like, oh, this is sick. She loves, she loves like the horror movies and things like that and the stories and all that. 
She's like, this is sick. You got to do it. I said, I might. I might. She says, I would watch it. <laughs> I said, oh, thanks. Thanks for that. Hey, Reverend. First Weed Shop 3, now you got me wanting to play Builder Sim. <laughs> oh, there's so many Sims on this game that I might get you into. It's good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. There we go. Or, I, I am interested. I do want to see what the uh, what the sandbox mode is kind of like. I might dip into it towards the end of the stream today just to see what it what what, what it could entail. Right. There we go. And slide that through. We chopped three last night, though. I have to say, with the updates, or last night, I should say yesterday, with the updates with Weed Shop 3, I'm pretty impressed. Pretty impressed with it overall, I guess. Um, I love how the game is starting to feel, like, less grindy now, you know? I, I'm, I'm loving that feeling. Because, you know, we've almost gone two weeks, as in days, at playing that game where it's like, can I get some traction here, you know? But we're getting that traction slowly but surely. Okay, so all that's done. Now we got to go outside and place all this stuff now. Which we did already out here. Very good. Um, now I need to get up there. Probably through scaffolding. Place one right there. Get me out of that. Place one right here. Get me out of that. Uh, place one over here. Get me out of that. And place one right here. Get me out of that. Very good. Okay, so let's start right here. Go into this. Climb up that. It does I don't know. Did it? I don't think it cost me any money to, to get any of the scaffolding done. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, crap. My buddy tore down his old house and rebuilt it from just the original framework, and I helped with the demo work, so this game should be fun and interesting. Oh, dude, if you did the demo work... Oh, my God. It's like, you don't have to pay me a lot. You don't have to pay me at all. <laughs> I would just like to do the demo work. <laughs> Let me take it in for you. Let me just take you a flat... Like, why are we putting those... That's kind of weird for a window right there, is it not? Um... Let me just go ahead and take a sledgehammer in there. Oh, my God. That must have felt good, though, doing the demo work. That must have been real fun. I don't understand why we're putting these things on the windows. Like, I get there for flower pots, I think. Right? You could put flower pots or whatever. But, I don't know. On every window? Maybe on some windows, but not on every window. Like, this doesn't make sense. I guess... I don't know. I don't know what that is. So you need a stair installer to start the stairs. Okay, this is the first time we've done stairs. So buy stairs. Okay, so let's go to stairs. Buy the stairs. Oh, just like that. Uh, let's keep it white. Yeah. There you go. Okay, buy and insert wall profiles. Oh, shit. Not this again. Okay, we're going to buy... Eh, we'll buy 20 of them for now. Oh, God. This is going to be way bigger than I thought. This project now. There we go. I guess the stairs are already installed. That was pretty fast. Okay. Very good. Very good. All that good. Cool. We'll get to the other stuff here in a sec. Let's go ahead and screw these down first. Took a half step down on a nail that was sticking up, but was luck. But luckily, I was uh, walking carefully, and I felt it before it went into my foot. Oh my god, that's terrible. That's terrible. You didn't have to like go and get a tetanus shot, no. <laughs> but um, I kind of did something similar to that when I was a kid before, except like we were out, um, we were out in our out in our property, burning. Right, we were doing like burning, and um. And, uh, there was, like, an old burn pile throughout the day that we had. 
and we decided, or I decided, I don't know why, but I decided to walk through that kind of like walk through the burn pile that we had during the day since it was out. Well, the ashes were still hot, right? Of course, the ashes were still hot. And um, let's just say there was a, uh, let's just say there was a, a board that had a nail going through it. Like there was a little like two by four or something with, Oh god, not 10, damn it. Um with a nail going straight through it, and it was hot. And you can probably imagine that a hot nail, I stepped on that thing. Oh my god. That was the worst pain of all time. Ever. Terrible, terrible. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right, so if I remember correctly, we had to go uh, mineral wool first, insulation we're going to need, a lot of insulation I think actually, Let's see how this goes, this is all for, from on uh, memory, oh they don't want any mineral wool at all, oh okay, not like the other place, but well, this place, they, yeah they want isolation though, here, there we go. So then what do they want here? Buy and insert wall profiles in the right places, right floor, screw in the screws. Buy and insert plaster boards. Oh, they want plaster boards. Plaster boards, then the mineral wool. Yeah? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe just no mineral wool. Okay, screw it in. I was going number two in the desert <laughs> when um, <laughs> when I was five. I fell back and landed on a bed of cacti. Oh my god. Oh my god. An ass full of cact cactus spikes. Holy hell, dude. Holy hell. No way. That's crazy. That probably took hours to, like, take out all the spikes, yeah? Probably took hours to do. I can't imagine that. That would feel horrible. That cactus must have been pissed. <laughs> It was an awkward doctor visit. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Okay. I can't imagine. That's, that's something, dude. Hey, sometimes you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Right? That was the time you had to go. Must have been hot sand. You know? Dropping a deuce. In the hot sand? I tell you what. I can't tell if it would have been comfortable or if it was miserable or... You know, I don't know. A giant, like... It'd be like a giant litter box. <laughs> but for a human. In instead, in this litter box, we have cactuses. There we go. Get more plasterboard. go oh a little bit of wool there we go. There we go. his wife was burning leaves one day and some cinders drifted onto the old broken down barn roof ended up catching on fire but the fire department was able to stop the fire from spreading spreading further oh my god that must have been a like a um that must have been an absolute like panic uh panic uh moment there like, oh shit, what have we done? Right? I can just imagine. No, no, no. Why did I buy the wrong thing? I'm an idiot. I bought the wrong freaking thing. I meant to buy this. Um. Yeah, no, that must have been a panic. I can't imagine. Start yelling. Hey, yo, call. You know, well, depending on where you live. Call 911. Is it 411 and over, over overseas? I'm not sure. I think it is, yeah. No, one, one, two. 
Is that what it is? One, one, two? Four, one, one. I think that's operator. <laughs> operator. Four, one, one, please. Couple hours, yeah. <laughs> Couple hours, get those spikes out. There we go. So now what? We now we need the um, mineral roll uh, by blocks and lay them like loading barrels. Okay, so if the walls are concrete. Uh, okay, so I forgot how we did this. Was this? Uh, uh, I forgot how we did that. I really do forgot how we did that. Oh shit! I think I put that on the wrong side there. That was just a block, I think. Yeah, I think it was just a block, maybe. Yeah, I think it was a block. And then I think we mortared it. There we go. How am I supposed to screw that? His wife was really shaken up because she thought it was going to burn down the patch of forest around the barn. Oh, my God. I would imagine... I think I'd rather fall on cacti than a porcupine. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So, again. Um, I think... I can't remember how we did this. What was this again? Does it tell me? Maybe it'll tell me. Hang on. Let's see if it tells me. Is that Bella? That is Bella. She's copping an attitude. I don't know why. She hears like the tiniest things of all time. Is this floor insulation now? I don't think so. No. She hears like the tiniest noise outside and she thinks it's for her. Like, no. B, not for you. Block? No, it wasn't the block. Oh my effing god. You're actually kidding me. You're actually kidding me. Thank you, whoever did that. Thank you. What is the deal? What is the actual deal with that? Anyways. So we have these done. Um, it wasn't the blocks. No, it wasn't the blocks. Maybe it was something else. It wasn't the concrete blocks. It was the... There's a part of me that's thinking... I don't think it was no it wasn't the hollow blocks insulation board no I don't think floor insulation it wasn't what it wasn't that what was this again I totally forgot I don't think it was this let me see here I think it was just more like mortar yeah I think it was just mortar is there a thing out here is there a mixer I don't even know if there is a mixer out here there's the mixer yeah, okay, so there is a mixer. Alright. So let's 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 do that. Let's let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe we did that again. So uh mortar, please. And then hit it with the um Yeah, hit it with the hit it with the auto. And then we'll let that go. I think that's how we did it. I'm pretty sure. And then we did the blocks and we stacked the blocks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, turn that off for now. Pour it in. Very good. Good job. Okay, now grab the trowel. Slap that in. And this should be good to go, yeah? Yeah, okay, good. That's what it was. Sick. Got it. Memory serves correct. And then the concrete blocks go in. Okay, yeah, then the concrete blocks go in. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. Bam. I do kind of like stick up for Bella though. I do hear some banging outside. Like, can you like not bang outside? There we go. I don't want to be a Karen or a Kevin or a Kyle. I don't know which one it was. Somebody said the male version was like Kevin, Kyle. I don't even know. <laughs> Dude. 
Okay. Uh, we'll grab a little bit more mortar. And then what we'll do is we'll buy a bunch of concrete blocks, which I assume is going to be in the couple hundreds. Yeah. A couple hundreds. Let's go here. We'll do 300. That should be just fine. These are expensive blocks. My God. These are big deal, dude. These are big boy blocks. There we go. Get the trial out. Send it. Send it. Okay. And then we'll move over to our blocks. And slide those in. I, I don't know when we'll get another, if we will, too. If we'll get another uh, upgrade on our block placements. There we go. I mean, this mini game is okay. Like, there's a part of me that thinks, like, why? Like, everything else in this game kind of seems very automatic. Like, when it comes to, like, painting or the flooring. Like, why? It's so easily to drop a floor and complete the entire room. Why can't I do the same thing with the trowel? And just, like, hit, uh, like, press, maybe press and hold. Instead of, like, play this mini game. I don't know. Like, nothing else requires a mini game. There we go. But I'll stop complaining and I'll continue. There we go. And there we go. Oh, gosh darn it. There we go. A little bit of trial action. Two. There we go. And then fill it up with what we need. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Looks like this is going to be a lintel, I think. Right? Lintel. Yeah, I think that's what it is. A lintel. Hopefully this is the only thing I gotta do here. I don't want to do anything that has to involve a roof. I'm not for it. Like, the roofing in this game is, like, now my one nemesis. Like, I'm like, no thank you. Unless that's all blocks. That might be all blocks still. No, some of it is. And then let's go ahead and pop that bad boy down. Let's grab the, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, ooh, uh, it is bearing walls lintel. Yeah, it is a lintel. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Cool. Anything done? Anything else that needs to be done? No, we're pretty much set up here. Okay, now let's move up to up here. Go here, put in the new blocks. All right, coming together, coming together very well. Very well indeed. Go here. Bam. Bam. And back at it again. <laughs> maybe we'll have to, maybe, possibly we'll have to do the flooring and all that. We might do everything in this house for the most part now thinking about it. There we go. There we go. I wonder if there's an easier way. There probably isn't, though, but an easier way to, like, switch between hotkeys and then, like, your tools again. Like a quick click option. There we go. Add that. Fantastic. Add that as well. Good job. And then, uh, frick, dude, I don't know. go and then add the little bit of trial here bam bam okay the last bit of lintel i don't think i need to go upstairs well now it looks like it's like seeping through isn't it might have to go upstairs possibly let's get that last lintel here it does look like it no it does do I have to use that still can't tell I might need to go on the roof though that's looking like it too what the heck maybe I gotta hang on let me what the frick is happening do I have to get up higher and do it 
Oh, I didn't even notice that gap. That is embarrassing. Maybe because I was so short there. All right. Well, there you go. It's the more you know. Yeah, I was just out of like arm's reach out of it. Okay. There we go. Come through. Forgive me as I jump through all this. Hello, Daniel. All right, now we'll go. Like, that is so deceiving. It is. Like, from here, it's like, oh, yeah, the wall's completed. Then you jump up here, and it's like, oh, wait, maybe it's not. Bam. Messes with your head. Okay. Let's take this with us. Go upstairs now. Finish off everything up here. Everything that we know. No. I think I'm almost out of mortar, possibly. No? Is there another spot I need to hit? No, I don't. Okay, cool. Looks like 400 blocks was just about right, or 300, whatever we ordered. Go ahead and jump up down here. Right here, this is going to be a little bit obnoxious, but it's one way to get it done quickly. Oh, God. On the other side. After all, there we go. Nice and solid. Hooray! Oops. I hope the client won't notice we need to narrow down the number of used screws and door hinges. Let's what? hope he never finds out. Now, it's time to return home, buddy. Yee-haw! Thanks, builder. Appreciate it, bud. Ten. To be continue. Stay tuned for something awesome is coming. So this is the last contract, maybe? A little house in the tropical island? Sure, let's go. Let's do it. I guess they planned on like making more. You get the chance to prove your worth. I'm not kidding this time. Our next task is much more demanding than the previous one. Oh shit. This time you'll have to build a whole house. Foundations, walls, interior, everything depends on you. Still you have to work based on the client's blueprint. Even so, it's pretty exciting. Come on, partner. We have a job to do. So I am interested in kind of like what this diamond double diamond double diamond shovel is about. Let's see. Does this give me a diamond shovel? Yo! Look at that thing. That thing is sick, dude. I'm all about that. I don't think it makes it a difference. <laughs> Efficiency wise, but it's cool nonetheless. So now, basically, this is the last contract. It's putting all of our skills to the test. What have you learned so far, right? That's the idea. All I know is that this is going to be framework. Whoops, I don't want to be in here. Uh, yeah, form work. Sorry, not framework. Form work. Uh, probably want to buy... Eh, we'll, we'll buy 100, I guess. 100's fine. We have 30... Well, not 30 anymore. I think we had like 50 grand to work with. Here. I don't know if 100 is going to be enough. Hopefully it is. Short by like 10. Okay. Or 8. Maybe short by 8. Let's see. Exactly 8. <laughs> okay. Whoa, look at the, the, the quest now. The list on the quest is actually now crossing out items to do. Okay. I wish we would have done that the entire time we were playing. So this is going to be 108. It should be 108. So we'll go 100 and 8. This should do the entire thing. And then I think we go concrete, right? We go concrete. Or do we go mortar? Actually, I think we do concrete. Yeah, we go concrete first. I think I missed a spot, right? No, no, it wasn't 108. Oh, okay. Well, F. <laughs> okay, so start the concrete mixer to create concrete. Pour ready mix concrete into. Okay, yeah, okay, it is concrete. Yep. We got it. We got it. No problem here. There we go. We want to go concrete. Select auto. We'll let that roll up here. I'm going to readjust my body. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Turn off. 
Pour in. Oh god, it's white. We haven't seen this in a sec. <laughs> Alright. So. Drop it in. Very good. Okay. I don't know if you could actually do it from the side. I'm really not sure. I don't want to waste the concrete, though. There we go. Oh my god, this is very delicate. I don't think I did that right. And I cannot see. There we go. Almost done. Do you remember the Among Trees? Uh, the game, the Among Trees? Absolutely, I do. Uh, was there anything left to do in the game? I remember you upgraded the cabin all the way, but was there more to explore? Uh, well, technically, there was... Um, uh, th technically, there was... There was more to explore? Yeah, there was. There was technically more to explore in that game. Um, you could definitely go into... Because I didn't... I don't think I uh, discovered every single... Um, I didn't discover every landmark, you could say. So there, there was more stories, I guess you could say. You could, Because I, I believe there's like letters and stuff in that game, right? If I remember correctly. My god, it's been a second. But yeah, we didn't discover the entire map, I guess you could say. There we go. Didn't mean to post that link. Sorry, folks. Oh, I did not see the link. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, okay. Done. So now we have that taken care of. So dig out the top layer of the soil with a shovel. Spread sand bedding. Oh, wow. Spread sand bedding, too. Interesting. Okay. So do I just dig it out like this? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Looks like a freaking... Looks like I'm cutting something out from, like, a brownie pan. I dig it. Now I want some brownies. Or some fudge, dude. Brownie or fudge. I'm all for it. Some people know how to make some good homemade fudge. I do not know how to make homemade fudge. I don't even know how to start to make homemade fudge. I don't even know how that works. Okay, spread sand bedding there. So do I just grab this and go like this? Ah, this is kind of new. Like this. Can I put this in the wheelbarrow? <laughs> Probably could. Let's see. If I pull out a wheelbarrow... Wheelbarrow? Nope, that doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. We'll just continue with this. Place? Okay. Whoops. Still think the shovel's sick, though. Looks like blondies or peanut butter fudge. I like fudge. I do. I do like fudge, but I can only have like one of them. It's like very, very sweet, very rich, right? Brownies, though, that's a different story. I could have maybe a couple of those if they're done correctly, right? They have to be done correctly. Now, I saw there was like a thing nowadays. Like, I had no idea about this. I saw it in a video and I was like, what? There's like this special, I don't know what it's called, but there's like this special uh, lining or something that you could put in a, you know, into a baking uh, pan pot thing where you, you know, that you would put brownies in and you, you wrap the, you wrap the brownies, not in it, like the mixing, you mix it up and then you pour it onto this like wrap in the tray and then you stick it in the microwave for like five minutes and it cooks brownies that fast. Now I know microwave stuff right kind of deteriorates a lot of like quality out of the food you eat but i was thinking in my head i was like wow brownies in five minutes interesting you know i forgot the name of it though i forgot the name of the actual um the wrap or i don't even know if it was like a paper wrap or i don't even know what the heck it was 
You can like cook brownies in instant five minutes. They didn't look too bad, but still not the same. Kind of reminds me of those like those guys. Those like super, super, super chemical artificial tasting brownies you get in like a, in like a, in like a banquet meal or like a TV dinner tray type thing. You know what I mean? Those super like, God, <laughs> that kind of, that kind of brownie. Oh, yo, yo, like the mug desserts. I don't even know what the mug desserts is. I'm assuming this is a grid reinforcement, yeah? 500 of those. I'll sell all this stuff too if I don't need it to make room in my hot bar. There we go. Then I'm assuming this is all gonna be laid down with concrete too. Uh, prepare the concrete and pour it in over the mesh. Yes, right? So spread the bedding, uh, lay the con. Okay, now we lay the concrete down, right? Turn that auto on. Let's grab this. Can we just go for it. Oh, we can like drive and go. I see. Probably would have made the trenches a little bit easier. I would have done this. The drive and go. There you go. Okay, stop that. Pour it out. Oh my lord, that scared me. Bella's back at it again. I don't know if it... I think it might be the mailman. I don't know. It might be our neighbors that are, like... Freaking them out. But they shouldn't because they come every day. It's like, we have neighbors. We have a mailman. You should know this, dog. Betty Crocker mug treats or mug cakes? I don't even know what those are. Now, I know what Betty Crocker is, obviously, but I don't know what mug treats or mug cakes are. But uh, no, it, 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 it was definitely not uh, Betty Crocker um, related, though. Let's see here. What do we have here? Uh, lay insulation. Prepare the concrete and pour it into the mess. mesh. Lay the floor insulation on and pour concrete over that. Wow. Kind of spicy. Let's go 100 with that again. There we go. And then concrete over the floor insulation. Hey, if you ever want to know how to build a house, here you go. This game's for you. Or like, growing up as like a kid, I never really had it. But like, the people that had the, um, or the kids that had the, uh, the easy bake ovens. I never understood that. I did not understand an easy bake oven. You're telling me you have kids mixing these concoctions of, of ingredients together so that they can put it into this kid friendly oven that is powered by a light bulb. What the hell is that? A light bulb is going to cook you your brownies. How long was the freaking brownie supposed to be in the easy bake oven? Right? I don't even know. I didn't have one. Like, my cousins had one, but I never, like, messed around with that because I thought it was weird. I was like, you're telling me you're going to cook food with this, like, 5-watt light bulb. BS. I call bullshit. And then, like, in the commercials, the kids were so happy because they got this gourmet freaking um, brownie mix or brownie, you know? But then in actuality, um, in actuality... They got like just like when kids really did it. Um, they actually got uh, what is it? They got just like flat out like pudding as they're browning because the, the light bulb never cooked the, the thing, right? It's like the better version of Construction Simulator 3, or is this better? I've never played Construction Simulator 3. I've never played uh, Construction Simulator. But I would have to say uh, there probably is a difference because in Construction Simulator, you get to use uh, actual, like, um, like trucks, right? In that game? Like, you get to use actual, like, equipment? 
There we go. Okay, so there we go. Now we need to create mortar. Oh my god. Oh, F. Okay, so now we gotta create the mortar. We're really doing this from the freaking scratch now, aren't we? Okay, switch me over to mortar, please. Dump all this out. Because I guess we don't need it now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep coming. Keep coming. I'm trying to think of some other like weird stuff that uh, companies back in the day, say like the 90s or like the early 2000s, where they're like, yeah, kids can cook their own, uh, they can cook their own meal with this toy. Like, get that out of here, dude. Hey, right, that ain't right. You know what fell off the face of the earth, I feel like? I don't know if anybody does it, but I feel like... And now, I don't know, like, the logistics behind it, because there might have been some problems with it as far as, like, the chemicals or... I, I have no idea. I, I don't know. I don't keep up to date with it. But whatever happened to, like, Play-Doh? As a kid, dude, Play-Doh was, was around in my life. Yeah. We did a lot of Play-Doh. But I remember my mom, she used to get super upset when the Play-Doh would get stuck in the carpet. Now, I understand that, but do they still have Play-Doh? Can you actually still buy Play-Doh? I don't think I feel like I, I feel like I don't see it in the stores anymore. I don't even know. Let's go ahead and do some mortar here. No. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God damn it. Mix it up. Let's go. There we are. Very good. Very good. Very good. Let's grab a trowel here. Let's go there. I just remember Play-Doh. It always used to smell awful. But they did have the Play-Doh. It actually, well, it didn't smell awful, awful. But it had a distinct smell to it, but... Play-Doh was also, like, a big thing in daycare. I remember. We were in daycare. And they would they would have Play-Doh all the time. I don't know if they have Play-Doh anymore. Like I said, I don't know if there's, like, some weird law going about it. Or if they, like, went out of business. If Play-Doh went out of business. Or if they were, like, chemically... Like, people, like, kids were starting to eat Play-Doh and stuff. I don't... I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know, dude. There we go. But even Play-Doh was like, what was the point of Play-Doh? Play-Doh is still available, but Kinetic Sand is trending right now. That's funny because, um... Danielle, when she was at her work, she was, uh... She, she texted me one day. This was like a month or two ago. She texted me one day. She says, oh my god, we're making slime, right? We're making slime. And... I really want some slime. <laughs> and like, she went to like the dollar store or something, to the Dollar Tree, and bought some slime. And she brought it home and she just started like playing with it. And she just started holding it and squeezing it. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? She says, I want slime. I wanted slime. She says, I want to make some slime with you someday. I said, oh yeah? She says, yeah. I said, oh, well, you know, actually, in, like, fifth grade in elementary, they actually did uh, do that with us. They actually did have us create our own slime, you know? There we go. Kinetic sand, though. I never got into kinetic sand. I know that they use a lot of, like, uh... They use a lot of sand therapy. Um... They use a lot of sand therapy, especially if you maybe, like, um, like, have autism or something. Or if you're on the spectrum and you go to therapy. I know sand therapy is a big deal. Yeah. Now, I wonder if kinetic sand is part of that therapy now.
Play-Doh is still available, though. That kind of blows my mind. Now I want to go to the store and see if I can find Play-Doh. Then I want to touch it. I want to buy it. I'm going to touch it. One thing... Oh, dude. One thing that really drove me nuts as a kid, though, is when my Play-Dohs would mix together. When the colors would mix... Oh, dude. That was terrible. That was game over for me. I'm like, are you effing kidding me? <laughs> I hated that. I hated when the Play-Dohs mixed together. The colors, you know. You can buy Play-Doh into build stuff. It's a dollar twenty-five now at the store. Guys have natural slime though. Uh, natural slime, but with like the wrong consistency, I think. <laughs> uh. Here we go. Bam. <laughs> oh this is fantastic by the way first thing hello grace um second of all grace says hi i was watching car wash sim a little back a little while back and you said you and danielle like to put candy in the fridge or freezer that made me want to ask do you like twinkies in the fridge or freezer it's a great question um great question indeed yes uh twinkies in the freezer i can do you know zingers as well Put the zingers in the freezer as well. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. I'm all about that. Now, do I do it all the time? I don't do it all the time. But I will do it if I buy, like, a bunch of boxes and I don't want them to go bad. I'll be like, oh, yeah, let's, like, throw them in the freezer, right? But yes. Yes. 100%. Hello, Daniel Ramos. How's it going? Ding-dongs. Danielle really likes putting her ding-dongs. In the um in the uh in the freezer as well. She's a big fan of ding dongs going into the freezer. She's even a big fan of ho ho's going into the freezers as well. So yeah. Oh, soup. Wow. You went fishing today? That's awesome. That's awesome. Did you catch anything? Yeah, I'm see uh, I'm Seattle door dollar store now twenty dollar twenty five store. Yeah, same here. Yeah, our our dollar 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 can't speak. Our Dollar Tree or dollar store Dollar Tree whatever the hell you want to call it. Yeah, it's a dollar twenty five as well. We have a ninety nine cent store, but not everything in it is ninety nine cents. Kind of like a Dollar General too. Like there's a few things that are dollar, but not everything's a dollar type thing. Would you and Danielle ever do a video uh, on creating a craft model or puzzle? I would say, dude, I would, I would say, first of all, I would say, yes, I would love to do that. I would love to make it maybe like a members or a Patreon video, video of us like crafting. And we have actually Lego sets too, like building Lego sets that we've had. Um, the only problem is, and I'm trying my best. You guys see it almost every day during my stream. I'm trying my best. I really am. I'm trying to get her... <laughs> Like, to be comfortable on the camera. I'm trying to be like, hey, say hello to the to the camera, right? I'm trying my best to get her out of that, like, uh, self-conscious, uh, sh very shy, I'm scared of what people think of me kind of mindset. So that I can do some of these fun videos, these fun idea videos. Because that would be really good. I think it would be. But I am trying to gradually work that into, uh everything here and that's why i kind of like do that i say hey why don't you say hi why don't you say hi why don't you say hey hey why don't you come into the camera hey come here come here come here right because i want her to eventually to finally start feeling comfortable in order so we could do kind of stuff like that now it's weird because like if we were doing a vlog or something i think she would be fine but i don't know if she's just weird about it when she's like i don't when she's crafting, making, video, legoing, house thing. I have no idea. I don't know what the heck is going on there. I gotta have that conversation with her, honestly. You caught a flounder, really? Did you catch and release or did you keep? 
Good job I'm doing. I'm putting the, the work of Christ over here. I'm building it, man. Build it and they'll come. Feel the dream style over here also. It's a very repetitive thing, but it's all right, you know? Luckily, I have people here to talk with. Modeling on YouTube, is that legal? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, you lost me. <laughs> what? <laughs> modeling as in like... No, no, no. Like a model as in like... Uh, uh, <laughs> like uh, building models, I think. <laughs> but no, I don't think modeling is illegal on YouTube. Bam. Come on now, jump on that, please. Oh, goddamn. I ask because have you seen I'm 17? Uh, no, I, 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 I cannot see anybody's age, but I guess now I know. <laughs> um, because have you seen I'm 17? But when I was 10, they sold a special Twinkie cowboy figure that would put a twinkle inside then put in the freezer it won't go ice hard but it will cool it's perfect cool it perfectly oh i didn't know that i had no idea my stepdad went fishing on tuesday caught three trout oh sick are they like again like stepdad is that like catch and release or is it just catch and keeps. Daniel released it. Daniel release it? Or you release it or you keep it? I release it, I keep it. What the heck? <laughs> Ask her if there was money, if there was money goal and you hit it, she gets on camera. Just a thought. I know, like, if there was, like, a, okay, so, like, if there was a milestone, she definitely would. I know she would. Because uh, she would, she would definitely, um, she would, uh, she would honor it, right? If it was something that I put on, if there was, like, let's just say, like, a milestone or something, she would definitely, I think, honor it. There is technically a video here on YouTube, on my channel, of Danielle playing games for two hours with a face cam there's that it's in the tenant series i think season two or something it was like a tenant it was a live stream that we did uh last year yeah last year for all the people that that were uh, I, I i forgot why we did it i think we just did it just to do it but um we did it last year she technically did play the tenants and she doesn't play video games you know so like you definitely got to be patient with someone who doesn't play video games obviously because sometimes the logic is like oh well why doesn't this work or why doesn't this do that well it's because it's a game you know but the, yeah there is a live stream of us i kind of just sat back she was in front of the front of the camera she was playing uh, the tenants so there was that that's the only one time though that's happened and i think it might have been for a milestone too i think it might have been for like we hit 2000 subscribers or something i don't know what it was for honestly i kind of forgot i keep it how's this building going it's going good this is the last contract that is available in the game so we really have to do the whole nine yards here we got to build from the scratch up or from the bottom up or from the from the you know <laughs> from where we're at building a house baby uh, there we go there we go looks like we're gonna need more blocks interesting buy 100 more blocks and we'll buy uh one lintel for now because that will go probably right there right yeah right there perfect Actually, probably should buy another one. 
the other one's gonna go right here. And the other, you know what? Buy two more. There we go. Keeping keep fish having a fish night. We allowed five trout and three bass. No bass, don't like it. I think it'd be nice to have some fresh fish like that. That would be something. I will have to say. I am a little jealous. I'm a big fish guy. I like it. I love it. I want more of it. It's hard to go out to dinner sometimes. Because I'm a big fish person. I'm a big... I, I like seafood. Um, Danielle, however, is not. She does not care for it. So I can't just be like, hey, you want to go do uh, whatever the hell sells seafood? <laughs> She's very, uh, she's very, uh, what is it? She's very set on her way sometimes, especially when it comes to, like, a restaurant. She's very basic, though, dude. She's, like, top, like, not, not in a bad way. Like, oh, she's very basic. But, like, very easygoing. Like, she's like, dude, I'll hit up a Denny's. Let's go to a Denny's. And I'm like, F yeah, dude. Let's go to Denny's. Right? Let's go hit up that Denny's, baby. So I do like that. I do appreciate that. go there we go okay red lobster it's funny we actually went to red lobster uh last week oh god but not because of our choice but it was more or less our uh, my grandmother and my brother, they chose to go to Red Lobster, so we just joined them. So we did go to Red Lobster. And she, you know what? She actually went out of her comfort zone a little bit. I, I ordered, like, an appetizer. The appetizer was a... Um, God, I don't remember the name of it. It was, like, a uh, crab-stuffed ragoon-type thing. And she's like, you know, that looks good. Is it good? I said, yeah. And she says, is it very fishy? I said, no, it's not very fishy. And she went in and she tried it and she's like, yo, this is actually really good. I said, yeah, it is very good. <laughs> it's really good. We should come and do stuff like this more often, right? No. I'm 31, no fishing license. Stepdad has one. I have no fishing license. I've never been fishing, I will say. I have friends that go fishing all the time. And sometimes I tell them, hey, you should bring me out. But then they don't. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I would like to learn fishing. And then they don't bring me. I'm like, okay, it's fine. But I would like to learn fishing. Uh, excuse me, where's the step ladder? Thank you very much. I think I'm going to need scaffolding now. Go on this side here. There we go. You said she's uncomfortable when playing games. Is she afraid people will judge her and she can see them judge her live? No, no, she's not. She's not uncomfortable playing games. Uh, she's just uncomfortable being in front of a camera is all. Yeah, she's not. It's, she's not worried about the game thing. She's more just like uh, just uncomfortable in front of a camera wise. There we go. She's just very shy. You know, and I'm like, it's weird because like I myself, I'm a very introvert person, but I, I can't be right when I do YouTube. So I can't be that introvert. But in like real life, I'm a very uh, closed off introvert, introvert, shy, very uh, quiet spoken and all that. And she is like the complete opposite. She, you know, she does she'll talk to anybody she has no problem talking to anybody uh in public you know whatever it is she usually when it comes down to like taking care of like stuff that you know if something like bills need to be paid or we need to talk to insurance companies or whatever it is and we need to call somebody she does the calling in the household like she she does the call calling i don't like talking to people on the phone that much and i'm like if i can avoid it i will and she will do it but like when it comes to this, 
She's like, no, I, I, there's no way. Which I'm like, what are you talking about? How can you not do this? Right? But like, if you met her in person, she wouldn't be shy. She would be really open. So it's a very weird thing. It's like, we're both opposites when it comes to this, I guess. Okay. I need more blocks. I'm going to need ceiling too. 15. There we go. Oh my god. There we go. Somebody needs to explain something to me too. Um, We went to Taco Bell a couple nights ago. I thought the beefy five layer was like a dollar menu item. I was very wrong a couple nights ago. Was that not a thing? I thought that was a thing, dude. When I said, can I have, for Danielle and I, can I have four beefy five layers? That's all I ordered. No, no drinks, no nothing, no gimme ups. That was it. Just four five layer beefies. I thought it was going to be like $7. The son of a gun was $15 for four five layer beef, beefy five layers. What the hell is that, dude? When has that always been like that? Am I missing something here? I could have swore that was a dollar menu item. I guess not. Last time I fished was 2005 in Boy Scouts when I quit. <laughs> I used to do some crabbing. Always checking out those Tinder sites. I figured... Someone took the time to program those bots, so it would be rude for me not to check it out. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, a lot of people don't realize, like, uh, um, um, it's like, I constantly go through every day. Every single day, I go through comments, and I have to delete comments. Luckily, they don't show up on the channel because YouTube puts them as held for review. So I check my held for review comment section every day. And you either have to approve the message or you have to decline. And it's like every day, a list of Spanish speaking come to this Tinder-esque website all the time. <laughs> I had to pop in and ask if 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 seen Sheriff Twinkie, but I gotta go. Glad I caught you live. Well, it's good to see you there, Grace. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you for popping in. I appreciate that. probably give someone a virus one's person comfort is another person's awkwardness and vice versa facts facts yeah I, I can see it I can see that wife takes me to a boys to men's concert and I felt weird but I felt right at home at sounds of the underground yo how dare you first of all how dare you feel weird at a boys to men's concert I would have been rocking dude I would have been going for it. End of the road. Here we come, right? That's actually the... <laughs> it's weird enough. It was very late one night, and Danielle, got, Dan, Danielle and I got in a car accident a couple years ago. Uh, we were on the freeway, and um, the song that we were listening to was Boys the Men, End of the Road. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> was this a sign? Was this a message? I could go for some beef and cheese burritos right now. You're giving me the munchies? I know, right? I'm right there with you. That sounds so good. 
It's like, it reminds me of that scene in Rush Hour where, uh, <laughs> where Carter comes out of the gas station and he has, or he's, he thought he had, well, Chris Tucker comes out of the gas station. He thought he had, uh, Jackie Chan, uh, uh, handcuffed to the steering wheel. He comes out with a burrito in his mouth. He's like, Hey, I got a, I got you a beef and bean burrito. That's what I want right now. I want someone to yell at me telling me that they that they got me a beef and bean burrito. <laughs> I would love for that to happen. There we go. There we go. Fill this up. 15 dollar burrito is a crime. So you can kind of like see already that I'm kind of getting better at this. I am getting like more, um, what is it? Like memorizing how to put in some of this stuff. I'm kind of proud of that. Yeah, especially at Taco Bell. Especially at Taco Bell too, where the food is like not that good. YouTube censorship is at is at an all time high. Sadly, I wish Elon. I wish Elon bought YouTube. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh damn it! Wait, no, no, no. I'm not out. No, 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 no. I'm not out. No, I am out. Son of a gun. I am out. Three more of those. Seven there. There we go. There we go. Everyone but the bots is invited to the Discord link in the description, by the way. <laughs> His name is Lee, goddammit! <laughs> uh... Love those freaking movies, dude. Love those movies, man. Most, most, most Chris Tucker movies are banger. I will say. I forgot the movie. I forgot the name of the movie where he's like. It's like sci-fi. Chris Tucker's in like this sci-fi movie. Right? And like. He wears these like. Re like really uh really <laughs> colorful outfits you could say i can't remember the name of the movie though he's pretty funny in that too but it's a really outlandish but i i like um i really like uh money talks anybody seen money talks chris tucker charlie sheen oh that's a good that's a good 90s movie right there that's funny as hell that is so good Okay, let's go uh, concrete blocks, yeah? This we can go about 50? Yeah, 50. You know what I could also do? I could probably sell some of this stuff. Um, let's actually do that. Let's go ahead and like uh, sell. Sell all, 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 all. There we go. Let's clean up our inventory a bit. That's better. It's a lot better. Got to go food shopping tomorrow. All right, James. Take it easy. I don't like that. Taco Bell adds rice to the burritos. Really? Are you not a rice kind of person? I love, like, not just Taco Bell. I'm not adding, like, most of, like, even the other, like, home local uh, burrito places that we have here in town. I love the rice. I do. I do. I'm a big rice guy. I like rice. I'm all about the rice, baby. Is that what it was? Fifth Element? Is that what the... Yeah. Is that what the movie was called? Fifth Element? Yeah.
Elon may not actually be buying Twitter. Yeah, I, I think what's happening is like, I don't think he has as much money as people are saying. <laughs> like he has assets, but I don't think he has money as in the liquid form. Come on now. Perfect, got it. Uh, let's go here. Like he's worth a lot if he sold everything. You know. There we go. Okay, buy a roof blueprint now. Very well. Let's make this as tall as possible or as small as possible. No, let's make it as tall as possible. There we go. And then we'll go with a bunch of beams. 25 beams, please. There we go. Probably going to need a, a scaffolding anyways. Rush Hour 4 was canceled, sadly. Same with uh, the fourth Friday, I think, too. But John Witherspoon, John Witherspoon died a couple years ago, so I don't know. You can't have a movie without John Witherspoon. I believe that's his name, right? Yeah, John Witherspoon. You can't have a Friday movie without him. Friday was his most hated movie for Chris Tucker. Not really for the style, but because he was a stoner character and he hated Wii. He pref he preferred other stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's, like, there's a lot. There's a whole other issue why he didn't want to come back for the Friday movies anyways. I heard a lot also. Oh, shit. Uh, problem. Uh. <laughs> uh. Help. Call 911. Call 112. Somebody call the fire brigade. Um. Pardon me? <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to get out of here? I love gold. Hey. I feel like rice is just filler to make make more money. <laughs> hey, traveler. Good to see you. Good to see you. It's a pretty solid game. It is a pretty solid game. Um, right. By the way, thank you, Leslie. That was super, super sweet of you. Very, very kind. Thank you so much, Leslie, for that super chat. That was very, very kind. Incredibly kind of you. Thank you very much. Very much there. So, question... I save. F in the chat. I save. And I go back. And I go back. I can hit continue maybe? Never paint yourself into a corner or build yourself into a trap. <laughs> Dog your way out. Dig your way out. Okay. Um... Name the name the house after the super chat. <laughs> um, let's see here. So if I load it up, it's gonna be in there still. Oh shit! Save on quit. I hate that. Oh wait, auto save. Let's go to auto save. We might be a little bit steps back here. Oh no, not too bad, right? Oh no, we're on the roof. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Not too far back. All right. Holy hell. What the hell was that, dude? Autosave really just saved us there. Sometimes that's not what it, what it does, but in this case, it did save us. Okay, let's not make that mistake again. I didn't even know you could do that. I wonder if anybody else has done that. That was embarrassing. Okay, try again. go there we go there we go okay <laughs> I'm being very conscious of like what's the oh shit what's the last piece here I do not want to be on the inside of this bad boy going out okay more beams please 
Can't believe that, dude. Oh, you could actually hit escape and, uh... Oh, position reset. Oh, good shout. Liable? Liable? Good shout. I did not know there was a push position reset. Very well. Good job. Well, I should have put myself in there. <laughs> I should have put myself in there to, to try that out. Damn it. Okay, very good. Very good. Good shout. Leslie being bold. Being bold with that super chat. I think I bought way too much roof tile. I'll be honest with you. That was very kind of Leslie. Thank you so much. Can you create an attic door? I don't think you can. But that'd be really cool if you could. Oh my god. We're almost done. Did I do it? Oh, I did. I did. Right? Wall insulation and facade. Uh, insulate a building with a, a building. Not this building. A building with an insulation board. Okay. Oh, the outside. Yeah, right. Uh, we do that with bearing. No, we do that with partial walls. Wait, 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 wait. What do we do that? Insulate a building with insulation board. Okay, insulation board. Insulation board. Floor insulation. Insulation board. Got it. I should just, like, do it by tens. There you go, idiot. Okay, go. Oh, I'm gonna need so much more. Okay. Oh, this is fine. This is the last contract, though. So they gotta definitely make it tough for me, right? Let's make uh, about 200, maybe, will be fine. It's kind of silly in these games, at least for at least what we're going through in this game mode. It's silly that the game gives us money and currency because it, it, I don't know. I feel like currency is like, what's the point of it? Like we don't run out, right? I don't think we ever run out. I mean, you got to be a really like not into it. If you run out of money in, in this, uh, during these contracts, you got to be buying everything left and right. Go. Go. Almost. Almost, almost. And. Almost done. Come on now. There we go. Did we do it? With 50 to spare, baby. Okay. Now we have to go ahead and plaster it. With a plaster gun, yeah? No, plastering trowel, sorry. Uh, where is that? Right there, right? There we go. The whole entire wall, please. Uh, do the whole wall. Mark the whole wall. Uh-oh. Okay, why is that not working? Am I doing that wrong? Plastering trowel. Place it right here. Okay. Mark the wall. Put it on. Please put it on. Uh oh. Why is this not working? They should make a career mode. That's that's a good shout. I can't mark the wall. Am I doing something wrong here? Road maintenance simulator is finally fixed on PlayStation now fully with the problems. Was it the controller scheme? Yeah. Inside? Oh, baby. No, it's exterior. Exterior is outside. Exterior is outside. <laughs> At launch day, I found Can on YouTube. I didn't know how to open the door. Nothing showed. <laughs> Maybe money only important in sandbox mode. Yeah, probably. I would say money is probably way more important in sandbox mode. Let's try this side. Let's go this side. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
I could not tell you. Uh, maybe bugged out? Question mark? Question mark? Maybe? I don't know. Unless they want... Because it says exterior, right? It does say exterior. Hmm. <laughs> oh no, dude. Don't do this to me! We're so far into it! Unless I'm not done insulating. Unless there's something I missed in the insulation. Oh, you son of a bitch. You missed that, partner. That's the reason. That's They need to change that. They need to change the highlight color. The highlight color is just... It's not good for this template of a game. They need to make it like a brighter color. Make it blue. Make it pink. Make it green. I don't care. That should be good now, I think. It should be good. Okay, so now we could probably plaster it. Plaster. There you go. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, um, we could make it something spicy, but I guess brick is fine. You know what? Let's make it like this wood. Can we do that instead? Sorry. There we go. Yeah, we'll do that instead. Have I ever played Gold Rush yet? Um, I've not played uh, Gold Rush yet. Yeah, I have not played that game yet. Nope. No, no, no. I have not. I have not. Okay, I'm going to need to take this trowel all the way over here now. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we just need to do the inside. Uh, so with a plaster gun, right, I think is what we need for this part. Yeah. Plaster the inside. Make sure we get every nook and cranny like we did, you know, like we didn't do last time. This will be good to go. There we go. <laughs> Some had crashes. That was the PlayStation fault. Cash control. FPS drops. Controllers finally showed up. I'm glad that it got all sorted out, though, for you on road maintenance. Were you able to do, like, all the missions and everything? Like, if they add more to that game, that'd be pretty fun. Like, nighttime. I, I talked about nighttime a lot in that. Okay, now let's go ahead and... Uh, nope. Let's go ahead and skim it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Look into it. It's a fun game, but grindy sometimes. Also, uh, look into fishing North Atlantic or fishing. I've seen both of those. I've seen both of those games. I've even seen Gold Rush. Like, I've seen videos of it. I just haven't played it myself. There we go. There we go. A little bit of that action right there, too. A little bit of skim. There we go. All right. And here's the hard part, right? What did I miss? I missed something somewhere, right? Right there. It's usually these windows. If you're playing this game at home, double check your windows and your doors. That's where I failed at. Partner! Great job! That was really so Should I say the client loves his new house? He better. He surely does. Look at that. You deserve a holiday bonus, buddy. Damn right. I'll remember to give it to you when the time comes. Now let's go home. I'm tired. Yes. Yeehaw! Thank you, Builder. Achievement unlock. I now I know everything. Now I'm ready for sandbox. That's the achievement name. Hey, subscribe. It said now I'm ready for uh, sandbox. By the way, thank you, Lassie, Lassie, for the uh, subscription. So contracts are all done. Every single contract is completed. We've completed every single contract today. To be continued. Stay tuned. Something awesome is coming apparently. So I guess they have an update of some sort coming through. Uh, there is sandbox and there is interior designer. I'm going to quickly click on these just to see what they're about. So interior designer, I think what this shows us is like you go into a house maybe and then you just kind of like put furniture inside and do a little bit of that. Okay. Sandbox. Do you want to try the tutorial first? No. Let me just click on sandbox just to see what this is about. So sandbox 
You could be in the mountains. You could be in the countryside. You could be in Italy. You could be in the tropical islands. I love this, the Icelandic. You could be in the American suburbs. You could have 7x7, 16x16, 30 by 30 Let's just click on that just to see. Let's just see what happens. Hello, Lucas. Is it something I'm interested in? I, I really, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. I'm really I'm not sure. I think Gold Rush, I think if any game, Gold Rush would be something I'd be interested in out of all of them. What the hell is this? Create a home plan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So take a look. I'm going to show this off because I think this is so, so cool. So when you do um, sandbox, um, it shows off all of this. Like you can actually make your own plan as you go through. You have a ground, you have the ground project, you have the like cursor, eraser, add floor, remove, have bearing walls and things like that. It's a very cool thing. I'm not going to be doing sandbox in today's stream because we just did almost like five hours of contracts. But, you know, I think this is a really cool thing. Like if you really wanted to get into this, you can go into like a random project. So say you wanted to like to have, a, you know, maybe you weren't creative or something and you wanted to have like a template. You could definitely do that. You can throw in a random project and then you can probably customize the way you want. Like, oh, yeah, I want to customize this, that and this. And you can add all these types of things. I think this is one of the most detailed parts of this game. This is kind of what I was talking about when it came to detail. Uh, you have all these different options, right? Uh, this right here is supposed to be a small window. Uh, you have the walls coming in through here. You have the stairs. Um, you can zoom out, zoom in. I think it's a really, really neat thing. And if you wanted to, you can even have, I guess, swimming pools will come in an update. But if you wanted to, you can go ahead and actually check this out. So if we wanted to go with this and see where we're at here with this plan, we start the plan and then you go ahead and build your own house. And I think that is probably the best selling point to this game here is sandbox. Once you go through the contracts, you learn how to do the game. This right here to create your create your own house from scratch. Bam. I think that right there is a selling point to this game. I think then you can get the full worth and value out of your $16, $17, $20, however much you spent for this game. Uh, it's right there, right here. Planning your own house. And then after that, being able to... Um, put all the uh, furniture and stuff like I don't have the furniture stuff right here but to put it all the furniture stuff later on so good so good so if this house was fully built I'd be able to do uh, the, the furniture as well but yeah I think that I think that is actually really really cool I do and like if you wanted to I think you can also like um, like fly and like get an overview of your house you know like hey look at me I'm gonna go up and like Take a nice creative mode fly. Ah, this is looking fantastic. Or, oh, it's not looking as good as I thought it was, right? Um, you can also hold left control to skip some stages. And you can skip as many stages, I think, as you want. So, you, like, right now, what I just did was I skipped digging out the foundation. Like, I don't want to go around and dig a freaking shovel throughout this whole thing, right? I don't want to do that. So, you can go ahead and skip it. Now, it does have a little bit of a cool down before you can skip this. But you can also skip the form work. If you're like, I don't want to do the form work either. You can kind of sit here, chill out and skip that stage too. So again, I think this is a really cool um, part of the game. If you were to build your own sandbox and you were to create your own uh, blueprint plan, um, you can skip the stuff you don't want to do. The digging and, and whatnot. So yeah, I think it's really, really, really neat. Really neat. I think this right here, this mode, sandbox alone, puts this game over most other builders. Um, it kind of, it doesn't, like, it's different from House Flipper. I think that's one thing. And I and I love that. I love that a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty neat. Uh, so, look. I skipped the form work. So, now the form work is already in there. And now the next thing I would have to do is putting in the steel, steel frame. And you can do that as much as you want. But, yeah. I think it's pretty cool. I want Bill Diverts replaced with Christopher Walken. Facts. <laughs> one of the greatest suggestions of the day so far. Planning the house, taking screenshots or video capture, uploading for others to see. Yes. 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 But anyways, guys, that's going to do it in today's uh, stream of uh, House Builder. We spent about five hours here today playing House Builder, and I really did appreciate my time with this. Uh, we did every single contract. We did all 10 contracts. It was pretty awesome. Uh, indeed. For sure. For sure. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this as we looked at it here and... Uh, 
I think it's a game that you definitely could benefit from if you are into building games. If you're into building games, if you're into House Slipper, I think this is probably the next step. Not the next step, but if you were trying to find another game other than House Flipper, um, this is probably the other game I would go to, is this one, is, is Builder Simulator. Uh, to find out what kind of uh, updates that they will bring out for this game in the future is going to be fun to see. More contracts, uh, swimming pools, and if they decide to drop in DLC, I'm kind of excited to see where Builder Simulator does go into the future here for sure. You can go ahead and join their Discord, of course. They have their Discord. They even have a YouTube channel as well. Uh, you can go ahead and pick up the Steam, uh, pick it up on Steam as well for $19.99 USD. Right now, you can get 10% off if you uh, purchase in the first seven days of it being released, or you could get it even cheaper. You can get it for $16 like I did if you bundle it up as well. Anyways, yeah, that was a pretty, really good time. I really had a good time with you guys for sure. Thanks for the stream. No problem. We had fun. And his bots, shout out to the bots today. I do have to say, my God, you sons of guns. It was fun indeed. So, yeah, uh, if you guys want more content by me, make sure to hit the subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, become a member on the channel. Yeah. Um, and also Patreon, you can become a Patreon as well. Uh, also I want to say, say a special thank you guys. So special thank you. Sorry. I don't know why I can't speak. I might be getting a little tired. Um, I want to say a special thank you to sky gaming for re-upping your membership, uh, today. That was really kind of you. Uh, thank you, Shrey, uh, for the uh, Super Chat. Waking Matthew, thank you so much for the Super Chat. Darren, thank you so much for the Super Chat. Eli, thank you so much for the Super Chat. German Road Crew, thank you so much for the tip. And Leslie, thank you so much for the Super Chat as well. Uh, tomorrow, we might have a very, very spicy stream going on tomorrow. Possibly. I'll have to check. Um, when it, well, I'm referring to something that I posted in the community tab. So if you're interested and you would like to put some input on what we stream tomorrow, because there is a game that is coming out tomorrow that I would love to stream, but I got to see if there's any interest in it anyways. Go into the community tab. Let me know if you would like to see the game that I posted last night. If you want to see that as a stream tomorrow, I would really appreciate that. Let me know in the community tab. Comment on that, like on that, and maybe we will play that tomorrow. Um, because it is pretty damn spicy. And I think we could get some good times out of it for sure. Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you guys in the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always, take care.